Zaiyuan slowly opened her eyes, her eyes revealing a daze. But soon, she recalled what happened to her. She was kidnapped just now. Immediately, Ziyuan's expression changed, and she realized that someone was hugging her, and immediately struggled crazily. Don't move. A soft but stern voice reached Xian's ears. The voice seemed to have magic power, and it immediately made Zi Yuan stop. Ziyuan raised her head and saw the face of a boy about her age. That shiny blonde hair is incomparably dazzling. Even in Zi Yuan's eyes, the painting style of Naruto's avatar has changed a lot. Don't worry, I've saved you from those people. But the trouble is not over. Naruto saw that Xian was not messing around, so he briefly explained the current situation. His gaze was fixed on the front, and did not fall on Zi Yuan. Otherwise, he could see Zi Yuan's somewhat abnormal blurred eyes. After a while, Zi Yuan came back to her senses, blushing and turning her gaze away. Trouble? What trouble? Then, she turned times and saw countless huge tentacles waving in the air. The huge force hit the wall, causing the falling rocks to roll down. As for Huang Quan and the subordinates he brought, they were swallowed up by the erupting power of the sprites at the moment of sprites resurrection. Seeing this terrifying monster, Ziyuan's face suddenly turned extremely pale. Although Ziyuan didn't learn any witchcraft from her mother Maitreya, as a contemporary witch, she still knows what it means to revive a demon. It's over. It's over. The ninja world will be completely destroyed by sprites. Ziyuan spoke blankly, her face full of despair. At the same time, the idea of Self-blame also arises in my heart. As a witch, she should obviously stop the monsters from raging, but now that the monsters have been resurrected, how should she, a priestess who doesn't even know witchcraft, deal with it? It's over. Are you joking? Naruto's indifferent voice reached Shein's ears, calming down her desperate mind. She looked up, staring blankly at Naruto's chin. Only then did she realize that she was still lying in Naruto's arms. Restrained by her own identity, Zi Yuan quickly jumped down, turned her back to Naruto and was at a loss as to arranging her clothes. Even if there are not many wrinkles on the clothes, Zi Yuan just wanted to relieve her inner embarrassment and shyness in this way. Naruto didn't care, just let Xi'an run aside. There was inevitably a trace of disappointment in the eyes he looked at the sprites. Is it only this level? It's really disappointing. Fortunately, I came here on purpose. Naruto said lightly, as if he didn't pay attention to the raging sprites at all. When Zi Yuan heard the words, she immediately turned around and said in disbelief. This level. You don't even know how powerful sprites are. It is an immortal monster. There is no way to kill it, so every witch must sacrifice herself to seal it. It's not easy for a kid like you who doesn't understand anything to talk nonsense. Naruto tilted his head and looked at Xi'an, and said. Immortal. I admit that its power is very special. It grows by absorbing the hatred of others, and has unlimited room for growth. But as far as it is now, if I want to, I can completely dispose of it. Wait. I have a great idea. Naruto suddenly thought of a good way to deal with sprites. And it can also solve the tragic fate of the witch. When Zi Yuan heard that Naruto was still so small, her face turned red with anger. You, you. Wait. What's your name? Naruto pointed to his forehead protector and said. Konoha Shinobi, Uzumaki Naruto. Zi Yuan took a deep breath and said. It's good for you, Uzumaki Naruto of Sleepy Leaf. I don't care how confident you are in your own strength, but sprites are absolutely impossible to defeat. You'd better run for your life now, or you won't have a chance. Naruto looked at Shien curiously. How about you? Zi Yuan gritted her teeth and said. Sealing the sprites is my duty, so naturally I will not back down. I will definitely reseal it. Naruto looked at the resources with great interest and said. But you also said just now that the price of the seal is N's own life. Are you willing to? Zaiyuan said bitterly. It's none of your business. Get the hell out of here, you're an eyesore. Naruto shook his head with a smile. He could feel Ziyuan's kindness, but this mouth was too unforgiving. But it's not too big a minus item. What if I said, I can take care of this monster? What would you do? Xi'an looked at Naruto in surprise. What nonsense are you talking about? Since ancient times, only us witches have been able to seal ghosts and monsters. You are not a witch at all, so don't make trouble here. Naruto said with a smile, but I can do it. Just right. I think you don't know how to seal the sprites now, so let's take a look at what I did first. Maybe I can solve it, and you don't need to sacrifice yourself to seal the sprites. 
Shien stared blankly at Naruto, opened her mouth not knowing what to say. Yu Yu. Naruto smiled funny and raised Shien's chin to make her close it. Let's watch my next performance. Perhaps from today onwards, you won't need to shoulder the mission of the so-called witch. Saying that, Naruto grabbed Shien's slender waist with and jumped up high. Immediately afterwards, a huge tentacle smashed down, smashing their positions. It turned out that sprites noticed the power of the witch in Shien's body. The witch itself is at odds with the witch, and the monsters who want to devour the witch will naturally target Shien immediately. I didn't expect that this year's witches haven't grown up yet, a priestess who is powerless to resist, is really helping me. The sprite's voice echoed in the space inside the volcano. As long as I devour you, I will face it completely. Come, become one with me and me, and become the most exalted being. The sprites were still clamoring there, controlling the tentacles to sweep towards Zaiyuan continuously. The witch power on Zaiyuan is like a bright light in the eyes of the monster, he can immediately perceive Ziyuan's position without looking carefully. But because of Naruto's relationship, the sprite's attack can't work at all. Damn bug, don't run, sprite said angrily. Naruto immediately stopped in place, as if he was very obedient. Right, that is it. It doesn't make sense even if you keep running, no one can stop me now. The sprite proudly stretched out several tentacles, surrounding Naruto and Shien in all directions. Zi Yuan turned pale with fright, and Naruto hooked the corner of his mouth, revealing a light goose. Swish. The invisible sharp blade pierced the air. A violent gust of wind suddenly hung above Naruto and Shien's heads. However Naruto and Shien herself were not affected in any way. In the gust of wind, there are extremely sharp wind blades hidden, which smash all the tentacles that hit. For Naruto, this level of escapism is naturally easy to grasp, and he doesn't even need to make a special seal. What? The sprite was taken aback, it didn't even see how Naruto made the move. This kind of mystery that makes it unclear makes sprites very afraid. But these tentacles, which seemed to be free of money, kept attacking. However, still none of the tentacles could reach within 5 meters of Naruto. Zaiyuan stared blankly at this scene, her cognition was completely overturned. She has never seen such a powerful ninjutsu. Of course, in the land of ghosts, Zaiyuan, who is still young, naturally does not have many opportunities to experience too many ninjutsu. You, you are so strong, Zaiyuan said dryly, then turned her head to look at the mysterious Naruto, the chill on her face could not be concealed no matter what. Naruto smiled lightly and said, This is just the beginning. Soon, you'll see where my confidence comes from. Sprite looked at Naruto with incomparable apprehension. Just now it looked down on the human boy, but now it showed its strength to shock it. Facing Naruto's powerful strength, how should it deal with it? Now Naruto is only defending, if Naruto attacks it, can it resist it? The sprite was thinking this way just now, when he suddenly felt a sharp pain in his abdomen. Before it could take a closer look, it felt that its body had been penetrated by force. It saw an extremely sharp spike passing through its body. What, what's going on here? The sprite twisted crazily but the whole person couldn't get rid of the spikes no matter what. Immediately afterwards, the sprite felt the deadly suction from the spikes. It is frantically absorbing all the power in its body. Chakra, vitality, natural energy, etc. are all there, all of which are absorbed cleanly. The sprite's struggle became weaker and weaker, and in the end it only twitched symbolically, indicating that he was not dead yet. What's wrong with it? This level of attack shouldn't be able to hurt it back quote. The shock on Ziyuan's face could not fade away at all. The successive occurrences of things that were beyond her expectation caused her little brain to be tortured endlessly. What's going on? Naruto smiled slightly and said. It's called wood style. It's an escape technique that extremely restrains this kind of guy. Wood style restrains tailed beasts, but sprites are not tailed beasts. But this does not prevent Naruto from dealing with sprites as tailed beasts. As the monster's strength and vitality were continuously absorbed, a huge flower bud opened from the tip of the wood thorn. Naruto has done this behavior once. That is, when Uchiha Madara released all white zetsu, Naruto also made a similar operation. Later, through this method, a kind of extremely powerful combat power was created, which could even be compared to the powerful existence of tailed beasts. Now the newborn who has been wandering in place has been taken away by other Naruto clones and kept for future use. But this time, a rare opportunity, Naruto directly used the sprites as nourishment, and used this ninjutsu again. 
Moreover, after hearing about the particularity of sprites, Naruto also made targeted adjustments. Don't, don't think you've won. Sprite said extremely weakly. Although, I don't have the strength now to resist. However, my strength comes from negative emotions such as hatred and anger. As long as these emotions exist, I will not die. When I attribute again, I'm afraid you have already died in peace. But Naruto just smiled calmly and said, Of course I won't give you a chance to make a comeback. Because, you have no room to grow. The bud slowly opened, revealing the huddled figure inside. In the bud, is a huge and incomparably loving creature. It has slender limbs and reaches a height of about 8 meters. Above its lips, there is a thin and long beak like a bird. With this beak, it can do one thing. That is to absorb the power of negative emotions such as hatred and anger. In other words, as long as this guy exists, there will be no possibility of revival. From the root, this big trouble was solved by Naruto. Hearing Naruto's explanation, Shien was still a little confused. Naruto looked at the unique creation this time with full expectation. The sprites finally dissipated completely, as if they never existed. And this guy named Garden Guardian by Naruto will act around this volcano. It will gather the negative emotional forces absorbed unconsciously, then change their form, and release them in the way of planting flowers. At this time, the body of the Garden Guard is already full of powerful negative emotions from the sprites. Then, the Garden Guard suddenly released this emotional force. Immediately, countless mysterious purple flowers bloomed inside the entire volcano. Like a sea of flowers. That's why Naruto named it the Garden Guardian. Because the Garden Guard will be a flower grower from now on. And these unique flowers can survive tenaciously without sunlight or the like. As long as the Garden Guards don't move too far away from their position. Okay, the situation here is resolved. You don't have to worry about your duties anymore. Naruto turned to Shien and said. Zi Yuan stared blankly at the sea of flowers she was in. It's like being in a dream that you can't wake up from. Just now he was mortally threatened by sprites. But in the blink of an eye, the monster spirit has dissipated, replaced by a mysterious sea of flowers. This completely paid off for the ninja in Xi'an's tiny head. So far, she seems to be down, without any response. After a long time, she watched all this in amazement. Okay, what a beautiful sea of flowers. Naruto smiled slightly and said. If you want to see it, you can come here anytime. The garden guard has remembered your breath, and when you get close, it won't hurt you and will protect your safety. Zi Yuan looked up in surprise, really? Naruto nodded with a smile. Zayuan immediately let out an excited cheer, and went straight to the sea of flowers. Sure enough, when Zi Yuan appeared around the garden guards, the garden guards had no intention of attacking her. On the contrary, there is a hint of guarding Zayuan in the middle. It's like a conscientious guard, beside the boulder. Naruto, who had kept his eyes closed, slowly opened them. The avatar on the side of the ghost country has dealt with an unstable threat, at least in the short term, there is no need to worry about the threat that the sprite will pose. After all, sprites can absorb negative emotions to strengthen themselves. Naruto estimates that if sprites are allowed to absorb negative emotions continuously, they will pose a slight threat to him after hundreds of years. Therefore, before avoiding this situation, Naruto directly used a special wood-style creation to completely eliminate the possibility of sprites appearing again. Once a large number of negative emotions will gather, the garden guards will rush to collect these negative emotions, and then plant a large number of gardens. It can be said that as long as the negative emotions are still there, the Garden Guard can be turned into a perpetual motion machine, constantly using these energies to improve the environment of the ninja world. Maybe it can change the desert of the Kingdom of Wind. Of course, this is just a thought. Where there is no negative emotion, the Garden Guards will not come to join in the fun. What were you doing just now? He kept his eyes closed and meditated, but when he opened his eyes, he showed a mysterious smile. Senju Hashirama asked curiously. Naruto immediately recounted the situation in the country of ghosts. Senju Hashirama suddenly said suddenly, so it's the kingdom of ghosts. At the beginning, we also helped in the past, when sprites raged in that area for hundreds of years. We couldn't see the suffering of the people there, so we helped the female generals of that class to seal them up. To be honest, it's really hard to hear. Senju Tobarama pouted and said. Difficult. Aren't you just a wood style? It's like nine tails who pretended to be dangerous, but ended up being sealed after a head-to-head -head kill. In Naruto's spiritual space, 
Nine Tails was also yelling curses, obviously having a lot of dissatisfaction with Senju Hashirama. Call me dangerous? You are the most dangerous one. I was subdued by you at once, how could I be dangerous? You who can subdue me at once are the most dangerous monster. You still have the nerve to call me dangerous. I, I, I. Feeling that Nine Tails seemed about to cry, Naruto couldn't help showing a smile and said. Now the ninja world doesn't need to worry about sprites. Because I have completely solved the problem of sprites not being able to die. With that said, Naruto explained his own handling method. After hearing this, Senju Hashirama's eyes lit up. You are such a genius. Compared with your ideas, I have learned wood style from dogs over the years. I didn't expect wood style to be used in this way. Naruto said with a smile. After all, wood style also represents the power of life. Plants are the first life to appear on this land, and their tenacity is beyond comparison to those of us. With the power of wood style, a lot of things can be made very simple, as long as it is channeled well. Senju Tobarama said with a sigh. I can no longer imagine what kind of grand occasion the ninja world will enter under your rule. Naruto smiled and said nothing. Sudden. The smile on Naruto's face faded away and turned into a look of curiosity. Huh? What's that? Naruto looked up curiously, and saw a huge floating object in the sky. It's as if a castle is floating in the air. Senju Hashirama and Senju Tobarama also looked up and saw this thing. I have not seen, Senju Hashirama said honestly. Senju Tobarama squinted his eyes, seeming to be thinking. I really want to have an impression, that it's too long ago, and I don't have much memory. At this time, other Shaokiangs also noticed the situation in the sky and came to Naruto's side one after another. Naruto, what is that? Tooth asked loudly. Shikamaru squeezed his chin and said, I really want to read the relevant information, but I can't be sure. Naruto thought for a while, and finally found this thing in the corner of memory. This is Kong Nin's headquarters, Wuj Fortress. As for Kong Ninja, he was eliminated by Konoha Shinobi during the Second Ninja World War. In other words, Kong Nin and Konoha have an endless hatred. Just by looking at the destination of Wuj Fortress, it can be seen that it is obviously heading towards Konoha. Shikamaru suddenly remembered at this moment, his right hand clenched his fist and hammered in the palm of his left hand. I remembered, they are Kong Nin. I've read the records about Kong Nin, it is said that they were wiped out by Konoha during the Second Ninja World War. I didn't expect that there were still people alive. Shino pushed the sunglasses and said, are they flying towards the village? Xiao Li's complexion changed drastically. No, such a dangerous thing must not be allowed to approach the village, there are a lot of civilians in the village. As he spoke, Xiao Li flew up with a whoosh. When the others saw Xiao Li's action, they could naturally follow him. Soon, the Xiao Qiangs flew up and caught up with the drifting Wuj fortress at an extremely fast speed. Only Naruto, Senju Hashirama and Senju Tobarama were left on the ground, with Sasuke with his hands in his pockets. Naruto asked curiously, Why don't you go and have a look? Sasuke snorted coolly and said, I'm not interested in sensational things. Naruto shrugged and said, In that case, forget it. Senju Tobarama looked curiously at the Piaoyuan Wuj fortress and sighed. I really want to know how this thing flies, it always feels too exaggerated. Senju Hashirama said indifferently, Maybe it's the pumice stone. Although the pumice stone doesn't look very good looking, it really helped us a lot. Seeing nothing else, Sasuke turned around and left. He still has to continue to practice, until he catches up with Naruto. Although, the current Sasuke has been unable to tell the gap between himself and Naruto. However, since it is the goal, it is natural to set it higher. If this is done, the sense of surprise must be very satisfying. Although this goal is to be achieved, it is a little bit more difficult. After all, Naruto's footsteps will not stand still. He will keep moving forward, always moving forward. Even if there was no way ahead, he would still have to fight his way out. Get out of his own way. Senju Hashirama looked up at the Wuj fortress that stopped suddenly, and said. It seems that they have already entered. Otherwise, there is absolutely no need to stop this fortress. Senju Tobarama nodded, then asked. Aren't you worried about their safety? After all, the strength of Kong Nin village looks quite good. Also, have you seen those very suspicious looking pipes on the fort? Naruto looked carefully and found that these pipes were very familiar. Taking a closer look, Naruto and Tan found that the gas turned out to be guns. And they're all inflatable airsoft guns, what's this? 
Naruto was taken aback. Is there such a thing as a thermal weapon in this world? Naruto couldn't remember such details. But even if it is a hot weapon, it has no effect on Naruto. With his speed, wanting to dodge bullets is no problem at all. After all, in terms of flight speed, he has surpassed several mocks. Far from being comparable to the speed of bullets. Naruto is watching from below, not worried about the safety of other Shao Kiangs. Although there seem to be very threatening hot weapons, the strength of Shao Kiang is unfathomable. It's not something these hot weapons can defeat. Not long after. Naruto saw an explosion on the Wuj Fortress in the sky. Thick smoke rose from several locations, and the height of Wuj Fortress was also dropping. It seems to have lost the ability to float. Seeing this, Naruto felt relieved. It seems that I don't need to pay too much attention. Naruto looked away. Although, in the Wuj Fortress, there is still a tailed beast known as the Tailless Country Tail. But Naruto didn't take it to heart. Although it is said to be a tailless beast, it is actually much weaker than a tailed beast. And even the most critical tailed beast bomb can't be released, it's just a bigger and more difficult monster. I can feel that there is a very large collection of chakra in that fortress, why don't you go and see it? Senju Tobarama looked at Naruto and said, This chakra is comparable to a tailed beast, are those little ghosts really opponents? Naruto smiled and said, I trust them. Senju Tobarama said nothing else. Since Naruto is so confident, he must have enough confidence that other small powerhouses can defeat the owner of this huge chakra. Therefore, there is no need to say too much about Senju Tobarama. Bang the Wuj fortress finally fell to the ground, and a loud noise erupted. That piece was also completely destroyed by the huge impact. The entire Wuj fortress fell apart as a result. Violent explosions continued. Not long after, the figures of a group of teenagers and girls flew from a distance. It was the Shao Qiang who just rushed over. At this time, they were a little embarrassed, but the overall situation was not bad, at least there were no missing arms or legs. Seeing their relaxed appearance, it is obvious that the troubles in Wuj Fortress have been solved by them. Looks like you're all done? Naruto said with a smile. Ya suddenly rushed forward excitedly and said. Naruto, you don't know what happened to us. A gigantic monster, like a snake, but very big. And it's very tough. Those endless tentacles are very powerful. But our strength is stronger, and the whole monster was directly blown up by us. Shikamaru said with a slight frown. I always think that thing is not very simple, and it will not die so easily. I think it is necessary to go and check the specific situation. Naruto knew what Shikamaru meant. This is also the characteristic of the nothingness of tailless beasts. Have you noticed the characteristics of chakra on that monster? A dark chakra, Shikamaru looked at Naruto in surprise. How do you know? Wait. Have you been sending clones to follow us? Naruto shook his head and said. No, I can perceive this distance myself. So I think you guys can take care of that monster. Shikamaru understood. Teeth said happily. You guessed it right, we just took care of that monster. We worked together to solve it. Naruto shook his head with a smile and said. Although you did eliminate it once, it cannot be completely eliminated in your way. This monster called nothingness, called a tailed beast, is itself a monster born from the darkness in people's hearts. As long as there is darkness in people's hearts, it will be resurrected infinitely. While it will take time, it is a safe bet that at some point in the future, it will come up again. That's right, nothingness, like sprites, is a monster that relies on people's inner negative emotions. However, Sprites are sealed by witches, while nothingness has been used as a tailed beast. Even, nothingness can also make a person a Jinchuriki like a tailed beast, borrowing its power. But what is certain is that it will definitely not work as well as a real tailed beast. The smile on Fang's face suddenly froze, Shikamaru said immediately. So, to deal with this kind of monster, seal is the best choice, right? Naruto nodded appreciatively and said, that's right. But you did a good job. It's not easy for others to solve that monster. Now you also know how to deal with it, when that monster reappears, you just go over and seal it. Shikamaru nodded, he wouldn't be offended by this. After all, Shikamaru himself felt that there was something abnormal about the monster itself. However, Ya thinks that this is an outstanding record, but he feels an unusual shock. His head was hanging down, looking listless. Obviously, it is a very failure to completely solve the nothingness of the tailless beast. Naruto looked at the teeth of the deeply drooping head, Choji and Lee, couldn't help but smiled and said. Don't be discouraged, you have done a good job. 
Just try harder next time, you still have a lot of opportunities. Neji looked around and said. Where is that guy Sasuke? I remember when we set off, Sasuke was here too. Naruto turned his head to the nearby forest Nunazui. Well, he's gone to practice again, and he's obviously very relieved of you guys solving Kong Nin's troubles. Teeth pouted and said. I think he just finds it troublesome. This is indeed Sasuke's idea. After all, Sasuke set his target on Naruto, so naturally he won't be distracted by extra things. After this period of hard training, Sasuke has been able to face eight of his own shadow clone at the same time. Significant progress, but it was far from the standard Sasuke wanted to achieve. So Sasuke is still practicing very hard. Even from Naruto's point of view, it's too hard. After all, not everyone has Naruto's powerful recovery ability. It's really worrying whether his spirit can sustain it. Naruto shook his head helplessly. Little Sakura raised her hand and said. Let me go and have a look. Saying that, little Sakura left. Ino hesitated for a moment, looked at Naruto's side face, and finally stayed. Ino, who likes handsome guys, has had an earth-shaking change in his perception of Naruto. Sasuke or something, just leave it to little Sakura. Her current target is Naruto soil. Phew. Finally, we are only one nine tails away from our goal. Uchiha Madara let out a long breath. In front of him lay a strong man covered in injuries. It is the Eight Tails Jinchuriki of Cloud Shinobi Village, the Circle Rabbi. Even with all the injuries, the sunglasses on Killer B's face are still intact. Maybe the sunglasses are his real body? Regardless of these. Looking at Killer B's state at this time, it is obvious that the Eight Tails in Killer B's body has also been released, and then absorbed by Ghetto Statue. Right now, Uchiha Madara is only one nine tails away from resurrecting ten tails. Although now Uchiha Madara is barely able to bring ten tails back to life. However, it is not a complete ten tails, even if Uchiha Madara becomes the Jinchuriki of this ten tails, it may not reach the level he expected. It's time to find that guy. Uchiha Madara's mind envisions a sinister, pale young man with a face. Orochimaru was indeed a young man in front of him. When Uchiha Madara came to Orochimaru, Orochimaru was already ready. In front of Orochimaru, there are three coffins. It seems that you have gathered the other eight-tailed beasts? Orochimaru couldn't help but licked his tongue excitedly. Orochimaru is also very excited about the upcoming Ten Tails revival. Uchiha Madara nodded. Nature. So, as you said, you have a way of getting chakra from nine tails. Uchiha Madara looked at the three coffins, frowning slightly. Why three? Orochimaru smiled slightly, and then the lids of the left and right coffins fell, revealing the people inside. It's really Cloud Shinobi Village rebellious, Jinjiao Yinjiao brothers. Destroying the alliance between Cloud Shinobi and Konoha, and killing second Rakage and second Hokage, his strength cannot be underestimated. However, the two Uchiha Madara are obviously not familiar with each other. Who are these two guys? Although in terms of age, these two are in the same era as Uchiha Madara. But in the eyes of Uchiha Madara at that time, Senju Hashirama was the only one. And when Senju Tobarama became Hokage, it was already after the war between Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama. That's when Uchiha Madara hid behind the scenes and started working on his project Tasuki no Mi. He didn't participate too much in the first Ninja World War. Orochimaru gave a brief introduction. They're Cloud Shinobi's rebels, but that's not the point. They had a strange experience. That's being swallowed by nine tails. Uchiha Madara raised his eyebrows, as if he understood something. How did they survive? Orochimaru smiled. That's the crux of the matter. They're in the belly of the nine tails, they're eating the flesh of the nine tails, they're drinking the blood of the nine tails. In the end, they have nine tails chakra in their bodies, and they can even use this to turn on tailed beasts, which means that they must have enough nine tails chakra in their bodies. Uchiha Madara nodded then look towards the coffin in the middle. Who's in here? Why don't you open it and have a look? Orochimaru hesitated for a moment, then said. This person's identity is quite special. As he said that, Orochimaru still lowered the lid of the coffin, revealing the figure inside. This is a blonde young man with Konoha's forehead protector. Uchiha Madara frowned and said. Konoha's ninja, Obito's master, is called the man of the yellow flash. Orochimaru froze for a moment. I didn't expect you to know him, but you don't know the Golden Horn and Silver Horn? But it's normal, since you have controlled Obito, you must have known Obito's master. 
After thinking about it, Orochimaru quickly felt relieved. Obito is one of Namikaze Minato's disciples. Now that Uchiha Madara controls Obito, it is not difficult for Uchiha Madara to know Namikaze Minato. What puzzled Orochimaru was that Uchiha Madara knew about the person who died recently, but he didn't know about the two strong men who were in the same era as him. Uchiha Madara nodded, then spoke. So, what does he have to do with Nine Tails? Could it be that he got into Nine Tails' belly too? Orochimaru said flatly. Minato married the then Nine Tails Jinchuriki and had a child. Uchiha Madara understood, but still puzzled. So, why did you get him out? Does he have Nine Tails Chakra inside him? Orochimaru nodded and said. When his child was born, that guy Obito attacked Konoha and released the Nine Tails inside Jinchuriki. In order to stop the Nine Tails from wreaking havoc, Minato activated a sealing technique with his own life. He split the chakra of Nine Tails in half, sealed one half in his child's body, and sealed the other half in his own body. Uchiha Madara's eyes widened suddenly. So, he has half of the Nine Tails chakra in his body? Is he also the Nine Tails' personal history? Wait. You just said he sealed Nine Tails inside his child? Is his child, Uzumaki Naruto? Orochimaru nodded. Yes, Uzumaki Naruto is the child of fourth Hokage Namikaze Minato. That's why he became Jinchuriki of Nine Tails. Then, Orochimaru sighed. It's just that I didn't expect that Minato's child would have such a strong talent, and at such a young age, he has already become an invincible existence. Uchiha Madara looked serious. If it is the most complete resurrection of Ten Tails, it is undoubtedly the best choice to use half of Namikaze Minato's Nine Tails Chakra. However, Uchiha Madara was hesitant. He was afraid that in the process, Uzumaki Naruto would discover his actions. Now Uchiha Madara knows he can't match Uzumaki Naruto. If he still does this and that to Uzumaki Naruto's father, he is worried that Uzumaki Naruto will explode suddenly, and he will not be given the chance to become a Ten Tails Jinchuriki at all. Naruto, where is he now? Orochimaru said with a serious face. He has been in the same place and has not moved. Uchiha Madara breathed a sigh of relief immediately, but seeing Orochimaru's dignified face, something bad flashed in his heart, and said. What's wrong? Is there a problem? Orochimaru sighed and said. Say, if you knew your enemy was running around trying to defeat you, what would you do? Should we prevent him from gaining power, or should we just pretend that nothing happened and just stay with the other party motionless? Uchiha Madara knew immediately that there must be something wrong. Is he confident? Is he confident that he can deal with me? Even if I gain any power? Uchiha Madara has never been so aggrieved. This feeling of being completely ignored was the first time since he was born. Damn Naruto! I must kill him! Wrong! Uchiha Madara quickly realized something was wrong. That's impossible. There's no way he hasn't stayed in one place all the time. I met him before when I was collecting tailed beasts. Uchiha Madara looked up suddenly, stared at Orochimaru and said. Have you betrayed me? Fooled me with such words? Orochimaru said quietly. I'm not lying. As for the person chasing you, I'm afraid it's just a shadow clone. Uchiha Madara couldn't accept this statement even more. What do you mean? Can't I beat even a shadow clone? Who do you think I am? I am Uchiha Madara, Orochimaru sighed and said. Stop talking so much nonsense, let's choose one quickly. In order not to have too many dreams at night. Uchiha Madara blushed and wanted to curse, but he held back. After all, Orochimaru is the only ally on his side right now. And it's not such a loyal ally. If the two really broke up, Orochimaru would cancel Impure World reincarnation directly, and he would really have no way to get Nine Tails Chakra. Using the power of the nine-tailed beasts to revive ten tails and become ten tails Jinchuriki is Uchiha Madara's only hope for a comeback. At this critical juncture, even though Uchiha Madara was angry, she could only endure it. All anger can only be settled afterwards. Uchiha Madara gave a cold snort, and then circled back and forth between Jinjayinkan and Namikaze Minato. In his heart, he naturally wanted to absorb the nine tails chakra in Namikaze Minato's body to revive ten tails so as to retaliate against the hatred that Naruto suffered. However, after thinking about it, Uchiha Madara still chose the Golden Horn and Silver Horn. It's not that he is cowardly, but that it doesn't make much sense. But if the Nine Tails Chakra in Jinjainjia was not enough, he can only use the Nine Tails Chakra in Namikaze Minato. Just the two of them. Uchiha Madara pointed to the Golden Horn and Silver Horn, and then backed away. 
Orochimaru pursed his lips cryptically, and a trace of disdain flashed in his eyes. But Uchiha Madara didn't notice it, because he was summoning Ghetto Statue, which is the body of Ten Tails, the body of the sacred tree. And Orochimaru was unambiguous, and directly awakened the Golden Horn and Silver Horn. As soon as he opened his eyes, Jinjiao Yinjiao was confused for a while, but soon made an arrogant sound. Ha ha ha! Laozi is alive again! Yinjiao shouted loudly, and Jinjiao, who was bigger and bigger beside him, also caught his brother. Let us brothers make another big fuss, make him turn upside down. Wait! What's wrong with your face? Suddenly, Jin Zhao realized that Yin Zhao's appearance was not quite right. Then I realized that I was not quite right. His body was full of cracks, and his eyes turned a strange black color. Two scumbags, don't waste time, don't want to return to that boring pure land again, release the nine tails chakra in your body. The extremely cold voice woke up the two brothers. Those words of belittling people immediately made Jin Zhao Yin Zhao angry. The two of them ignored the abnormality of their bodies and looked up. Then. A trace of fear flashed in their eyes. This face, they are too familiar. It used to be this man, together with Senju Hashirama, who suppressed the entire ninja world. Until their death, no one dared to start a war. The fame of Golden Horn and Silver Horn also came after the two died. But now. Why did people who should have died appear in front of them? And, how did they come back from the dead? Wait. Could it be that guy from Second Hokage? But we have already killed him. Has anyone else mastered his technique? Jin Zhao suddenly realized something was wrong. The state of him and Yinkaku at this time is exactly the same as that of the dead who was awakened by the reanimation jutsu used by Second Hokage Senju Tobarama they defeated. That is, they are now in the state of impure world reincarnation. Moreover, Jin Zhao remembers that in this state, they are immortal existences. If so, what are you afraid of? HMPH, it turns out that you are an old man. I didn't expect you to be so hardworking, but you were still alive. After Jin Zhao figured it out, his courage immediately became stronger. Looks like you won the battle with Senju Hashirama? But why haven't you shown up? You fought him, isn't it just to get the position of Hokage? Jin Zhao chattered endlessly, with a mocking smile on his face. It turned out that Senju Tobarama, who hates your Uchiha clan the most, took Hokage's place. Aren't you very angry? Uchiha Madara's face was completely calm. It's just the lies of two scumbags, which can't affect Uchiha Madara's mentality. Stop talking nonsense. If you don't want to go back to that boring pure land, you'd better show off your full strength. Uchiha Madara said with a cold tone. At this time, Orochimaru who had been silent all this time suddenly said. You don't need to talk nonsense to these two people. As a caster, I can completely control their actions. With the two of them, I can't voluntarily cancel the contract of impure world reincarnation. Saying that, Orochimaru forced the two kanai with charms into the heads of Gold Horn and Silver Horn. Immediately, Jin Jiao, who was still very active just now, suddenly became sluggish. Uchiha Madara was stunned for a moment, and then said dissatisfiedly. Didn't you use this method earlier? It caused me to waste so much time with these two trash. Orochimaru smiled, obviously he did it on purpose. Then, under the control of Orochimaru, Chakra of Nine Tails emerged from the Golden Horn and Silver Horn. Jinjiao Yinjiao soon fell into half-tailed animalization mode. Uchiha Madara said excitedly, With these, it should be enough. Give me all your chakra. Uchiha Madara rushed up in an instant and grabbed the necks of the two with his hands. The powerful force even made it impossible for the two to compete. The two people who were lifted into the air could only struggle in vain, but they couldn't get rid of it. And Nine Tails Chakra is constantly being absorbed by Uchiha Madara with the power of Rinnegan, which makes the two unable to use Chakra to fight back. After a while, all the Nine Tails Chakra in their bodies were absorbed, and naturally they also automatically lifted the half tailed beast state. Swish. Uchiha Madara couldn't wait to stand in front of Ghetto Statue, with an excited look on her face. Finally, let's get the Chakra of the Nine Tailed Beasts. Nine Tails has less Chakra, but enough. After defeating that kid Naruto, I can have the complete nine tails. Naruto, who closed his eyes and meditated, suddenly opened his eyes and stretched himself. Is it finally over? Naruto's sudden movement immediately caught the eyes of Senju Hashirama and Senju Tobarama. As for the others, they all went to practice. What's wrong? Senju Hashirama didn't understand why, 
but Senju Tobarama seemed to understand. Is it Madara? The time you've been waiting for has finally come? Naruto nodded, with a hint of expectation in his eyes. I hope you don't disappoint me this time. After waiting for so long, Naruto will be very disappointed if Uchiha Madara's performance is not as expected. Wait a little longer, and he will come over on his own initiative. Senju Hashirama stood up with a serious face. Although I know you are strong, Naruto. But Madara actually thinks that he can fight you, which means there is such a possibility, so you must not be careless. Naruto shook his head and said, I'm never careless because I'm very cautious. Otherwise, the campaign to conquer the ninja world could have started a few months ago. Senju Hashirama choked suddenly. During this time, they also heard about Naruto's experience from other Shaokiangs. It can be said that Naruto's strength has improved in less than a year. But it has grown to such an unbelievable level. It's unbelievable. At least, Senju Hashirama has never been seen. Even the legendary Sage of Six Paths is probably not as good as Naruto. Senju Tobarama said with a slight frown, Do you need to make some preparations in advance? Naruto shook his head and said, I have already done all the preparations that need to be done, and the next thing is the battle between me and him, you just need to be spectators. Senju Hashirama sighed, stepped forward and patted Naruto on the shoulder, and said, Konoha, or the future of the ninja world, is in your hands. Wake up Madara, and make him understand that we, relics of old times, should not remain on the land. Naruto turned to look at Senju Tobarama, and said with a smile. You should tell Master Second Hokage about this. After all, if it wasn't for Master Second Hokage's reanimation jutsu, you wouldn't be in this car. Senju Tobarama immediately turned his head in embarrassment, looking at the distant scenery. Obviously, he also found that the forbidden technique he created was somewhat self-defeating. Senju Hashirama looked at his brother helplessly. I've said it a long time ago, don't develop those useless ninjutsu, but you just don't listen. Senju Tobarama opened his mouth, just about to say something. Suddenly, he turned his head abruptly and looked towards the courtyard. Although I haven't seen anyone yet, I can feel an extremely powerful force approaching quickly. Senju Hashirama also felt it immediately, and turned his head to look, frowning tightly. It's Madara. Haven't seen anyone yet, but Senju Hashirama is so sure. Not only because of the status of the two former enemies, but also because the person who can have such a powerful force in the ninja world can only be Uchiha Madara. Uchiha Madara didn't hide his thoughts at all, he just got huge strength, he just wanted to vent his invincible power to the fullest. Put simply, Uchiha Madara swells, but he also has enough credentials to swell. After all, Uchiha Madara has become the second sage of six paths after Otsutsuki Hagoromo. Wush Wush the Shaokiang who were practicing also felt the powerful force oppressed from afar, and they appeared beside Naruto one after another, looking nervously or worriedly into the distance. This force is really too strong, so they have to be nervous. Hanada clenched her hands, looking at Naruto's back with worry on her face. Teeth yelled loudly. What is this? A mighty chakra. I can smell the fear of those animals in the forest. Uchiha Madara turned out to be so strong. Neji's face was solemn, and his white eyes were already opened. What a huge amount of chakra. Sasuke put his hands in his pockets and stared coldly into the distance. HMPH, an old guy from the old era, let me get rid of him. As he spoke, he actually walked up to Naruto. Then, Naruto grabbed the back collar and pulled him directly behind him. There's nothing wrong with you here, why don't you go and stay where you are? Naruto said angrily. This is an opponent I specially raised, how could it be possible for you to take the lead? Sasuke curled his lips and said coldly, If you die, I don't care. Naruto smiled. Don't worry, I can't die at this level. At this time, before the people arrived, Uchiha Madara's arrogant laughter was heard from afar. Ahahaha, look at me, feel me, I am the ninja god now. Naruto, go to that world and regret not stopping me. The sound moved from far to near, and soon came to Naruto and others. Standing in the air, Uchiha Madara's appearance has undergone tremendous changes. He was wearing a white feather coat, his hair had also turned white, and a horn grew out of his head. In his hand was a black stick. Backquote. Naruto, today is your death day. Senju Hashirama looked up and shouted, Madara, stop being obsessed. We are but ghosts of the past, and this land does not welcome us. Uchiha Madara said coldly, Who am I? Isn't this Hashirama? How come I don't see you today? HMPH, 
Today my opponent is not you, don't be an eyesore to me here. As he spoke, he raised his hand and shot out the black stick that appeared out of thin air. The speed of the black stick was extremely fast, and it came to Senju Hashirama almost in the blink of an eye. As soon as it was about to penetrate Senju Hashirama's body, a hand suddenly appeared and held the black stick tightly. The one holding the black stick is naturally Naruto. In his current state, no matter what you say, it's useless. Let me have a good chat with him after I finish fighting with him. Senju Hashirama looked at Uchiha Madara unwillingly and then said helplessly. Then I'll leave it to you, Naruto. -wa. He used to be evenly matched with Uchiha Madara. Now this body of impure world reincarnation can't exert its full strength and can only be overwhelmed by Uchiha Madara. Not to mention, Uchiha Madara's strength has gone up several floors, reaching the level of the legendary sage of six paths. Of course, this is a general statement, and whether Uchiha Madara has reached the level of first generation sage of six paths is another matter. After all, the will of the first generation sage of six paths still exists in the ninja world until now. But the first generation sage of six paths will only appear if the ninja world is in crisis. Naruto's body slowly floated in the air, and soon came to the same height as Uchiha Madara. No more nonsense, let's get started. Waited for so many days. The battle has finally come. Even someone as calm as Naruto couldn't help feeling a little anxious. Not talking nonsense at all, he rushed directly in front of Uchiha Madara. But Uchiha Madara obviously wants to show off his current strength. After all, he has reached the level of the legendary sage of six paths. Naturally, he was extremely excited. Naruto, don't worry. Uchiha Madara said with great confidence, it won't be long before you will become my stepping stone and become a minister of King Jing. However, if you are willing to beg for mercy and pledge your allegiance to me, I might consider letting your life go. If it was before, Uchiha Madara would definitely not let a threatening existence like Naruto live to threaten the progress of Project Tsuki no Mi. But now, Project Tsuki no Mi has been debunked as a trap set by Black Zetsu to resurrect Otsutsuki Kagaya. No matter how stupid Uchiha Madara is, it is impossible to step into the trap that has been revealed. Therefore, in order to restore peace to the ninja world, he had to choose another path. It is also the path that Naruto is currently taking. That is to conquer with absolute force. Uchiha Madara is obviously not a person who is willing to be inferior to others, so although he and Naruto have the same purpose, they are destined to have a fight. But now Uchiha Madara is extremely confident, thinking that he has won secrets before he even started playing. Not only because of the state of Sage of Six Paths, but also because of the powerful force circulating in the body. This gave Uchiha Madara extremely strong self-confidence, even to the point of blindness. I've said it all, so stop talking nonsense. Naruto said rather impatiently, You don't think you can beat me, do you? Uchiha Madara froze for a moment, then laughed wildly. It seems that you will not cry until you see the coffin, and I will show you my current strength right away. Just start with your favorite wood style. Wood style super tree birth. Snapped. As Uchiha Madara clasped his hands together, the ground trembled violently, and then a large number of thick plant roots suddenly appeared on a piece of barren land. The plant rhizomes grew rapidly, reaching a height of hundreds of meters almost in the blink of an eye. Moreover, the area covered by this ninjutsu actually has a range of 10 kilometers. Seeing this scene, Senju Hashirama couldn't help but widen his eyes. Even if I wanted to do this at once, it was very difficult, but that guy Madara did it so easily. Is this strange gesture his trump card to defeat Naruto? I don't know if Naruto can survive. Senju Tobarama watched very calmly. The scale is indeed large, but this height obviously cannot hurt Naruto. Uchiha Madara should be very clear, he must have other purposes. Senju Hashirama said worriedly when he heard it. Is Naruto going to be okay? He is now the hope of the future of the entire ninja world. Nothing will happen to him. No. I can't just watch here, I have to go up and help. Saying that, Senju Hashirama put his hands together and wanted to use Shinsu Chinman. But was quickly stopped by Senju Tobarama. Wait. This is the battle that Naruto has been waiting for a long time, it's better not to intervene rashly. Otherwise, Naruto might even fight as spoilers. Senju Hashirama stopped in place immediately, and the raised footsteps fell obediently. This. Let's forget it then. Senju Hashirama is not afraid of Naruto. Instead, losing to such a small bat continuously, no matter how nervous Senju Hashirama is, it still feels a little bad. 
Seeing that Senju Hashirama dismissed his thoughts, Senju Tobarama breathed a sigh of relief. On the other side, Xiao Qiang also floated up to the sky, observing the battle between Naruto and Uchiha Madara from the sky without any visual obstruction. Exaggerated wood style. Neji couldn't help exclaiming, and the figure subconsciously protected Hinata. Whether he is the elder brother or the Hyuga clan of the branch house, it is reasonable for him to protect Hinata as the younger sister. But they are too far away from the battle location, obviously the aftermath of the battle over there cannot affect them. Exaggerated? Toothpicking booger boredly. I think Naruto's wood style is more exaggerated. I remember him being able to use wood style to create life, and that huge guy still seems to be hovering in that position. Hearing what I said, others also thought that when Naruto was fighting against Uchiha Madara, he used wood style to absorb all the life breath of White Zetsu to create a special creature of incomparable size. If you don't mention it, they will almost forget this guy. Shikamaru nodded and said, If Naruto's strength stays in those few days, maybe Naruto's wood style can't compare with Uchiha Madara in terms of scale. But you should know best that Naruto will never stand still. Shino also pushed the sunglasses and said, We didn't know how Naruto improved his strength in the past. But now, we have learned from Naruto the secret of his becoming stronger, and at the same time told us without hesitation. So, as the days go by, Naruto's wood style is only going to get stronger. When other people thought of this, they felt very reasonable. After all, Naruto's strength has increased rapidly in a way that is visible to the naked eye. It's been so long, and the strength Naruto unleashed is obviously not at his strongest yet. Facing Uchiha Madara's super wood style, Naruto said without hesitation. Is that all there is to it? That's really disappointing. Uchiha Madara's face suddenly turned red, as if completely humiliated. Damn kid. I've changed my mind. Even if you beg me to spare you, I'll tear you to pieces. How dare you look down on me, the majestic ninja god. Naruto said with a sneer. God of the ninja world? When is that the old calendar? Now, no one calls themselves that anymore. You're all just relics from an old time, too. Uchiha Madara was so annoyed that he condensed a black ball in his hand and threw it over. This sphere looked like an ordinary black ball, but it exuded an aura that even Naruto felt dangerous. This is not an attack that can be blocked casually. Fortunately, behind Naruto, there is no useless person holding him back and needing his protection. So, Naruto dodged sideways, and then rushed to Uchiha Madara unabated. Just when Naruto's fist was about to land on Uchiha Madara's body, a film suddenly appeared on Uchiha Madara's body. Don't look at it as an extremely thin film, but its defense is very tough. Naruto's fist landed on the film, as if hitting a diamond, it was extremely strong. However, as Naruto injected the explosive chakra into it, the entire barrier was destroyed directly from the inside. When the film shattered like shattered glass, Naruto saw Uchiha Madara with a face full of disbelief. How can it be? This layer of film is the yin and yang, escape technique performed by Uchiha Madara. It is specially used for defense, and it can invalidate the five attribute escape technique. But facing Naruto's fists, and Chakra's explosive blast, which is obviously earth style ninjutsu, so vulnerable. Is there something wrong? With rapidly expanding fists in his eyes, Uchiha Madara was punched on the bridge of the nose without any reaction. The entire cheek produced circles of ripples under the tremendous force. Then, a layer of airwaves spread, and Uchiha Madara flew upside down like a cannonball, and shot fiercely into the ground. Along the way, I don't know how many giant trees were crashed. Sure enough, more than before. Naruto nodded in satisfaction. When I fought with Uchiha Madara before, I was always afraid of killing Uchiha Madara all at once. After all, it is also a rare opponent. Naruto will feel very sorry if he loses the game once. Now, after Uchiha Madara turns on the six paths mode, the extremely tough body after implanting Hashirama cells becomes stronger and stronger. This kind of ordinary person can die from hundreds of heavy blows back and forth, and Uchiha Madara may only have a slight concussion. And outside the battle circle, seeing that Naruto sent Uchiha Madara flying with one punch, Iba immediately said with disdain. I thought Uchiha Madara was so confident, how powerful could it be, but that's it. What a disappointment. Shikamaru said very calmly. That's in contrast to Naruto, at this stage no matter which one of us meets Uchiha Madara, there is only one dead end. Even you, Sasuke, don't be unconvinced. Sasuke curled his lips, although he knew it in his heart, he still said it firmly. How do you know if you haven't played? 
Choji said suspiciously. Huh. Didn't you fight Uchiha Madara before? I remember it was little Sakura who found you in a coma. Sasuke's face suddenly turned red, his eyes fixed on Choji. If eyes were to kill, Choji would have been shot into a sieve. Shino pushed the sunglasses and said, It can only be said that Naruto's strength is too strong, completely beyond the level that ordinary people can understand. It's hard to imagine that Naruto is the same age as us, and it's even more difficult to imagine what kind of height Naruto will reach in the future. Senju Hashirama sighed. You're right, it's really hard to imagine. But what is certain is that both Naruto and you will have achievements beyond ours in the future. Because, you have surpassed now. Having received the affirmation from first Hokage, Ya and the others did not show much expression change. The main reason is that the image of Senju Hashirama in their minds has been clearly understood by them during the past few days of getting along. And even Naruto couldn't beat him, so naturally he couldn't make them feel the slightest admiration. Standing empty in the sky, Naruto looked down at the long traces drawn on the ground, and did not take the opportunity to pursue. With this level of attack, Naruto knows immune to death Uchiha Madara. After all, it was just a random punch from Naruto, even the night guy after might guy opened the door of death couldn't compare to it, and naturally it couldn't kill Uchiha Madara. However, looking at these unsightly trees, Naruto still frowned slightly. It's really troublesome, let's clean it up first. A Rasengan suddenly appeared in Naruto's hand. Then the Rasengan was soaked in fiery red light. Apparently fire styles chakra nature transformation. After that, the fiery red Rasengan gradually became huge, reaching a diameter of about 10 meters. What does Naruto want to do? Fang watched Naruto's movements curiously. What's with the red Rasengan? Sasuke said with a frown. It's nature transformation of fire style, Naruto added fire style to Rasengan. Senju Hashirama looked serious. Such a huge Rasengan, does he want to completely destroy this forest? Everyone else shook their heads. They also don't know what Naruto is thinking. Then, they saw Naruto throwing down the giant Rasengan in his hand. The giant flaming Rasengan is big, but not slow. Almost in the blink of an eye, it crashed into the forest from a height of hundreds of meters. Subsequently, sunrise. Everyone who was stimulated by the strong light had to close their eyes. At the moment when the power of the giant fiery red Rasengan exploded, it was as if the sun suddenly appeared in front of their eyes. The intense stinging sensation to the eyes and the extremely strong burning breath made them involuntarily close their eyes and retreat. It seems that if you don't retreat, all the water in your body will be evaporated by the heat wave. But even so, with their eyes closed, they could still feel an extremely strong light passing through their eyelids and reaching their eyes. In desperation, they put their arms in front of their eyes, and Dadao relieved a little. Otherwise, even with their eyes closed, they would be blinded by Naruto's move like the sun on the ground. The glare lasted for more than 10 seconds before slowly stopping. Shikamaru and the others lowered their hands and opened their eyes tremblingly. It was hazy at first, and then gradually became solid. Then, looking at the scene in front of them, everyone was shocked, as if their jaws were about to be dislocated, and they opened their mouths wide. This, 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 this is too pervert. Teeth are about to stutter. What happened in front of him really shocked him too much. I saw that the giant forest created by Uchiha Madara before has completely disappeared. The forest stretching for several kilometers has just turned into nothingness, leaving only the dry land. This is the history of Naruto's attack. Even as companions, Shikamaru and the others have to feel intimidated by Naruto's strength. Really, too strong. Senju Hashirama was also extremely shocked, but because of the basic affection for his good friends, he immediately searched around. No way, no way? Madara won't just die like this? Senju Hashirama couldn't believe it, but Uchiha Madara's body, or corpse, was never found. It was Senju Tobarama who stepped forward and patted his brother on the shoulder comfortingly. Under this kind of power, it is obviously impossible to survive. As soon as he finished speaking, he heard Neji say heavenly. Look at that. Uchiha Madara is alive. Veins popped out of Neji's temples, and it was obvious that his eyes had been turned on. The huge forest of several kilometers created by Uchiha Madara's birth of the tree world was directly turned into fly ash under Naruto's firestyle Rasengan. A large amount of black smoke spread, obscuring everyone's sight. And this scorching high temperature is also unacceptable. At least ordinary people can feel a sense of suffocation and burning just by getting close. 
Under these circumstances, no one thought that Uchiha Madara, who was at the center of the attack, could have survived. But he is not dead. Under Neji's white eyes, the thick smoke couldn't cover it in the slightest. Neji could easily see the flow of Uchiha Madara's chakra in the thick smoke. How tenacious! Can you resist such an attack? Shikamaru couldn't help but gasp. Although Naruto's attack is very powerful, it is stronger because of the unstoppable high temperature. This kind of high temperature can't be defended by relying on some protective ninjutsu. But, Uchiha came down. Shikamaru didn't know how Uchiha Madara did it. The black smoke showed no signs of dissipating. Too many trees were burned, and too many black flames were generated at one time. Although most of the trees were vaporized in an instant, the black smoke produced by the burning of the remaining trees was enough to cover the sky and the sun. What a hassle. Naruto can feel that Uchiha Madara below is still alive, but he has no white eyes and cannot see the state of Uchiha Madara. So he took a deep breath, and then let it out heavily. Wind style great wind blows. The sudden hurricane directly swept away all the black smoke, revealing the situation at the center of the explosion. The entire ground was sunken tens of meters deep, and the center was even hundreds of meters deep. And Uchiha Madara, standing at the center of the pit, looked up at Naruto. Uchiha Madara's body, except for some burn marks, did not have any injuries. Seeing this scene surprised the Shaokiang who watched the battle even more. It's unscathed. This is too exaggerated. Fang yelled, holding his head in his hands in disbelief. Choji was also stunned, and the potato chips in his raised hand fell to the ground. Shino stretched out his trembling palm and pushed the sunglasses. Compared to the Uchiha Madara we met before, this time Uchiha Madara is stronger. Although the previous Uchiha Madara was also strong, but the current Uchiha Madara is a monster. Senju Hashirama took a deep breath. Is this the power that Madara as confident can rival Naruto? Is Naruto going to be a little too big? Senju Hashirama is very worried, for fear that Naruto will capsize in the gutter. After all, Senju Hashirama has placed his hopes of restoring peace in the ninja world on Naruto. If Naruto loses to Uchiha Madara, Senju Hashirama can't imagine what the future of the ninja world will be like. Although, Black Zetsu's plan has been debunked by Naruto, it is impossible for Uchiha Madara to continue with Project Tsuki no Mi. But because of this, Senju Hashirama didn't know what crueler things Uchiha Madara would do for his peace of mind. The thinking of the Uchiha family is really too extreme. And he is still a person who likes to dig into a dead end. Compared with Senju Hashirama's worries, Senju Tobarama is very confident in Naruto. Don't worry, Naruto must have expected this. Although Naruto is still young, he always gives me the feeling that he is confident, we just trust him. Senju Hashirama has no other way either, there's no way for him to help now. If it was his original body, it might still be able to do something. But this impure world reincarnation's body is far from his peak. Naruto stood high in the sky, looking down at Uchiha Madara. He wasn't surprised that Uchiha Madara looked unharmed. In other words, Naruto had expected it. As expected of Yin Yang Dun, the resistance to ninjutsu is really strong. Even the high temperature can resist part of it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be just this burn. However, at least it is not ineffective, that is to say, if it continues to increase its power, it can also threaten Uchiha Madara's life. On the ground, Uchiha Madara's rampant laughter suddenly came. Ha 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 ha, see, this is my newest and strongest power. Uzumaki Naruto, there's nothing you can do. Next, it's my turn. Uchiha Madara shouted with great confidence. As he spoke, he rushed straight towards Naruto in the sky. While rushing forward, Uchiha Madara used his Rinnegan pupil technique. Wheel Tomb Border Prison. Four invisible clones appeared around Uchiha Madara and charged towards Naruto together. Naruto frowned slightly. Physical surgery? The choice of Uchiha Madara is not very difficult to understand. With Yin Yang Dun's strong ninjutsu defense, Uchiha Madara can completely ignore Naruto's ninjutsu attack. That being the case, Uchiha Madara can focus all his energies on taijutsu and fight more and less with the clones created by the Round Tomb Prison. Although, the biggest hidden feature of the clone created by the Round Tomb Prison is invisible under Naruto's Rinnegan. But the numerical advantage can still give Uchiha Madara the upper hand. Certainly, it's all just Uchiha Madara's imagination. In Uchiha Madara's view, the Firestyle Rasengan just now is the limit of Naruto's ninjutsu. 
But what Uchiha Madara didn't know was that Naruto never showed his full ninjutsu from the beginning to the end. Because Naruto's escapism will always improve its power continuously under the training of the avatar. In other words, Naruto's ninjutsu limit is far from the firestyle Rasengan just now. Since you want to play, let's play with you. Naruto smiled slightly, and then squeezed a sword finger in his hand. Then Naruto took out a scroll, and out came a huge sword case with a bang. Naruto put the sword case behind his back, and pointed the sword at the sky. Unsheath. The sword case was opened, and countless long swords flew out of the sword case under the command of Ming, like a torrent. This is. Uchiha Madara couldn't help but stop. There are so many long swords, there are tens of thousands of them. If he is attacked by so many long swords at the same time, I am afraid he will be chopped into a pulp, right? Although Yin Yang Dun has strong defensive resistance to ninjutsu, but its defensibility to physical skills is relatively weak. Tens of thousands of long swords pass through his body, and I am afraid that his whole body will disappear because of this. Thousands of long swords are flying in the air under the command of Naruto. This scene is really too shocking. How many methods does he still have not used? Is riding a horse the strength that a child of seven or eight years old can possess? Stop joking around. Uchiha Madara gritted his teeth and growled with blue veins on his forehead. Seeing tens of thousands of long swords flying towards him under Naruto's command. Uchiha Madara could only keep his head down and run away. He obviously obtained power comparable to the legendary sage of six paths, but why he couldn't even beat a young boy when he got here? Even being chased and beaten? Uchiha Madara is completely beyond comprehension. There is no way to escape like this, we must find a way to restrain his flying swords. How on earth did he control these swords? Puppetry. No, didn't see the chakra thread. That is how the matter. Uchiha Madara was puzzled. This behavior of manipulating tens of thousands of targets really makes Uchiha Madara incomprehensible. Even the best puppet master ever could not control so many targets at once. This has completely surpassed the limit of what humans can do. Not to mention, there is no chakra thread as a connection between Naruto and these long swords. In other words, Naruto's manipulation method is not puppetry. This made Uchiha Madara even more puzzled. Naruto stood in the air with his hands behind his back, looking at Uchiha Madara who kept fleeing, with a hint of disappointment in his eyes. Is it only this level? If you can't even counterattack, it will really disappoint me. I was expecting so much in vain, I gave you enough time. In that case, let me make some changes to see if you have the ability to hide. With a wave of the sword finger, the torrent of the long sword suddenly split into several small streams. They attacked Uchiha Madara from other angles, which caught Uchiha Madara by surprise and became even more flustered. There were even several wounds on his body, hateful. It seems that this is the only way to do it. Uchiha Madara saw countless long swords surrounded him, and after he had nowhere to go, he gritted his teeth and made a decision. A truth-seeking ball appears in both palms of Uchiha Madara. The pitch-black truth-seeking ball looks only the size of a palm, but its power is unparalleled. Even Naruto dare not underestimate him. After all, with Naruto's defensive power, if he was hit from the front, he would be seriously injured. However, Naruto obviously won't fall for this trick easily. And in front of Uchiha Madara are countless long swords blocking his vision, he doesn't even know where Naruto is now. Therefore, Uchiha Madara took out two truth-seeking balls, not to attack Naruto, but to solve his current dangerous situation. I intended to use it on you, Naruto but now we can only use it first. Saying that, Uchiha Madara threw two truth-seeking balls together in front of him. Immediately, the sound disappeared for a moment. The location where the two truth-seeking balls collided seems to have collapsed space, sucking everything in. But in a blink of an eye, two truth-seeking balls exploded. The extremely violent explosion swept all the long swords, even Naruto in the distance. Naruto backed away quietly, avoiding the explosion from sweeping over him. He looked at the center of the explosion with a frown. Suicide attack, but you must have a backup, because you are not such a reckless person. Naruto knew that although Uchiha Madara was in the center of the explosion, Uchiha Madara must be sure that he would not die to make such a reckless attack. And, if this trick is used when Uchiha Madara is close to Naruto, I am afraid that Naruto will be difficult to dodge. But, Naruto would not put himself in such a dangerous situation. The brothers Zhang Xiaoqiang and Senju who were watching the battle from a distance opened their mouths and eyes wide. 
What's this? It feels stronger than the Firestyle Rasengan released by Naruto. No, the power is not much different, but Uchiha Madara's attack gave me a chilling feeling. Is this the power that Uchiha Madara has gained? Amazing indeed. It's a good thing Naruto escaped, otherwise. It should be said that it's fortunate that Naruto forced this move first, otherwise, if Uchiha Madara attacks Naruto at close range, I'm afraid even Naruto can't stop it. Indeed, but is Uchiha Madara okay? He was at the center of the explosion, such a violent explosion, he. Since he dared to use this trick, it shows that he has enough confidence. I thought it was Naruto's crush again, but I didn't expect it to hit this level. Naruto still has the advantage, after all, Naruto still has a lot of methods that he hasn't used yet. But how much hidden ability Uchiha Madara still has, and it has not been revealed. Indeed, it's useless for those of us who can't get in to say more here, let's take a look first. After finishing the emotion and discussion, they turned their attention to the battlefield again. Or the center point of the explosion, they wanted to see what would happen to Uchiha Madara. Naruto shook his head regretfully. All the long swords have been destroyed, and they have to be customized later. But it's not like there are other alternatives now. Forget it. Let's take a look for a while, if it doesn't work, use other methods, anyway, I have prepared a lot of moves to prepare for this battle. Uchiha Madara, don't disappoint me too much. Without his intervention, Uchiha Madara would be ambushed by Black Zetsu shortly after becoming Sage of Six Paths and using Moon Eye, awakening Otsutsuki Kagaya. In fact, Uchiha Madara didn't fully use to come out with all his strength, and was defeated by Black Zetsu's sneak attack. Now, Naruto wonders what kind of level Uchiha Madara will reach if he can use his full strength. But let's first look at the situation of Uchiha Madara at this time. The aftermath of the explosion slowly dissipated. Little by little, the sky regained its former purity. A figure standing in the air was also revealed. At this time, Uchiha Madara looked a little embarrassed. His body was full of hideous wounds, but Uchiha Madara herself is deadpan, as if the wounds are nothing. In fact, these wounds are also recovering rapidly at a speed visible to the naked eye. White smoke even appeared on the wound after high-speed healing. Soon, the Uchiha Madara was intact. Obviously, this trick also hurt Uchiha Madara itself. But not enough to kill Uchiha Madara. Seeing this scene, Naruto nodded silently. As expected of a body fused with Hashirama cells, the recovery speed is really fast. Although I also have a sage body, but in terms of recovery speed, I still can't compare to that freak Senju Hashirama. But it's okay, as long as you don't get hurt, you'll be fine. Seeing that all the long swords were destroyed, Uchiha Madara breathed a sigh of relief. Phew. At least one problem has been solved. But this move cannot be used against Naruto himself. So it's also relying on physical resistance? However, this recovery ability is stronger than my current recovery ability. This kind of resilience, but I can't cultivate upwards even with my avatar. Naruto looked at Uchiha Madara with a flash of understanding in his eyes. He had guessed, so it wasn't a huge surprise to see Uchiha Madara completely resisting this violent collision with her body. When Uchiha Madara used this move, Naruto knew that Uchiha Madara was planning to use this move against himself. And it's at close range, however, Naruto doesn't care. Even if he is really released by Uchiha Madara using this trick at close range, Naruto has many ways to evade. As for hard resistance like Uchiha Madara, Naruto can't do it now. But also because of this, Naruto is looking forward to this battle very much. Because Uchiha Madara has enough strength to threaten Naruto's safety. Rather than being like other people, Sifu is completely intimidating to him. Only such a battle will cheer up Naruto. Only then will I pay attention to every move of Uchiha Madara. Next, what will you do? Naruto looked at Uchiha Madara expectantly, waiting for Uchiha Madara to carry out this round of attack. At this time, the two are like a turn-based game, you attack for one round, and I attack for one round. This is because both are in the tentative stage. There is no doubt that Naruto currently has an absolute advantage. Both sides are very clear about this point. But since Uchiha Madara dared to approach the door with such confidence, it meant that he was confident enough. There is no wavering in the slightest. It seems that this move can't threaten him. Uchiha Madara was always paying attention to Naruto's expression and found that Naruto's expression didn't change at all after seeing this move, and he knew that this move could not threaten Naruto at all. In fact, Uchiha Madara is not 100% sure. Seeing this scene now, 
he knows that it is obviously impossible to defeat Naruto just by relying on this method. Then let's try this trick. Uchiha Madara rushed towards Naruto suddenly. He reached out and grabbed the truth-seeking ball behind him, and the truth-seeking ball immediately transformed into a long stick. Uchiha Madara, holding a long stick, rushed over, as if he was about to fight Naruto. Seeing this scene, all the Shaokiangs watching the battle suddenly showed idiot eyes. Did he get scared out of his wits? Melee combat with Naruto? Even I don't have the courage to open the eight gate. No matter how violent the attack is, it is impossible to threaten Naruto. It can only be said that Uchiha Madara has never seen how superb Naruto's dodge technique is. It seems that Uchiha Madara is going to be taught a lesson again. It's normal to think about it carefully, after all, Uchiha Madara hasn't fought Naruto's eye song yet. I used Suzano before, and then I used the powerful ninjutsu to fight, but I haven't tried the simple and effective taijutsu yet. It should be said that the previous Uchiha Madara did not have this opportunity at all. Now he has his chance, but unfortunately it's not the chance he thought. Xiao Qiang, you have judged the result of Uchiha Madara's failure. Senju Hashirama next to him asked curiously, is Naruto's taijutsu so powerful? You know, the Uchiha family is a very powerful body art family. Their Sharingan is called the Observation Eye, and their dynamic vision can even see the trajectory of lightning. Sasuke said coldly, So what if you see lightning? Seeing is seeing, but it doesn't mean that he can really attack. Shikamaru said relatively calmly, If Sharingan can see the trajectory of lightning, he can make an early prediction to avoid or block it. I remember Kakashi Sensei had a move called Reikari, which was named after he cut off the lightning, and that was the use of Sharingan. However, Naruto's evasion ability can be described as unpredictable, there is no rule at all. Even if dozens of people are besieging at the same time, Naruto can dodge all attacks without touching any water. No one of us has been able to do this so far. At most, I can only dodge 15 shadow clone attacks at the same time. This is still the case of not using ninjutsu, but purely using physical techniques. Senju Tobarama was shocked and looked at the others. Can you do it too? Ya couldn't help touching his cheek, and said shyly with a hint of pride. I can dodge the siege of twenty shadow clone. Senju Tobarama looked at Shino, Shino replied calmly. 18. Senju Tobarama, looking at the past, they have given their own degree. 10. 11. 17. I am 12. 23. 18. 14. 10. Senju Tobarama's eyes widened suddenly, and he looked at Sasuke, who answered last, in doubt. You're Uchiha, how come you're the least of them all? I remember that your strength should be second only to Naruto, right? Sasuke looked at Senju Tobarama coldly, and said sarcastically. You also said that I am Uchiha, how many people do you think can face a pair of Mangekyo Sharingan's physical siege at the same time? Senju Tobarama blushed suddenly, he completely forgot about this stubble. Really? If we only talk about Taijutsu, not only him, even his elder brother Senju Hashirama, it is impossible to face the Uchiha clan with Mangekyo Sharingan at the same time. Because of those eyes, they can always see through your next move, and even predict your attack. After being ashamed, Senju Tobarama couldn't help being shocked again. You said you could dodge ten of your attacks? This is something neither he nor Senju Hashirama can do. So this kid actually did it, it's just unbelievable. However, Sasuke twitched his lips, showing no pride in this impressive achievement, but a bit disdainful. Apparently he felt that at this level, he could never catch up with his goal, Naruto's level. Compared to Naruto, it's still far behind. Listening to Sasuke's words, Senju Tobarama couldn't help looking up to the sky in horror. There, Uchiha Madara was already grappling with Naruto. At this time, the two sides looked evenly matched, and Uchiha Madara relied on the power of the truth-seeking ball, as if he was suppressing Naruto. But now, Senju Tobarama looked at Naruto, who was dodging with ease, and Uchiha Madara, who was struggling to attack, and suddenly felt that Uchiha Madara was like a reckless wielding weapon, facing a peerless master. There is no chance of winning at all. While that's a good thing, Senju Tobarama can't help but feel a little sad inside. It seems that these people have become old people who have been abandoned by the times. What? Are you just trying to escape? Uchiha Madara shouted excitedly. He watched Naruto only focus on avoiding his attack without any chance to fight back, and he saw the hope of defeating Naruto. Around Uchiha Madara, there are four clones that others cannot see are following Uchiha Madara and besieging Naruto. 
Everyone held a weapon transformed from truth-seeking ball in their hands, and launched a series of fierce attacks on Naruto. The forced Naruto kept backing and dodging, unable to fight back. But is that really the case? Perhaps in Uchiha Madara's sight, he is the one with the advantage. But in the eyes of others, they only saw Uchiha Madara's reckless attack, while Naruto dodged gracefully. Even though Uchiha Madara attacked for so long, he didn't touch Naruto once. The situation is firmly in Naruto's hands, not in his hands as Uchiha Madara thought. After all, it was just a siege by five people. Naruto has long been able to evade 40 or 50 of his own sieges at the same time. And it is the case that all means are exhausted. This level is naturally not in the eyes of Naruto. But, I have to admit, Naruto is also a little apprehensive. After all, the power of the truth-seeking ball is also a real threat to Naruto. Although Naruto has self-confidence, but where is there anything 100% in the world? If he takes it off once playing, he is also very likely to be seriously injured. After observing for so long without fighting back, Naruto was looking for a suitable opportunity. Now, the time has come. Naruto is naturally not a good old man who can't fight back. Suddenly, Naruto, who had been dodging all the time, stretched out his hand suddenly, and firmly grabbed Uchiha Madara's wrist with two snaps, blocking Uchiha Madara's attack. But. Also attacking Naruto are four invisible clones of Uchiha Madara. Seeing four people attacking him from the left, right and rear of Naruto at the same time, Naruto turned around suddenly and used the weapon in Uchiha Madara's hand to resist all the attacks of Uchiha Madara's avatar. Plus. Uchiha Madara was shocked. But before he could vent his shock, he felt his body start to spin uncontrollably. When he came back to his senses, he found that his four clones had disappeared without a trace. It turned out to be directly defeated by Naruto using the truth-seeking ball in the hands of Uchiha Madara. Naruto, who was standing five meters away from Uchiha Madara, said with a smile. Listen to my advice, don't think about using physical skills anymore, I'm afraid others will say that I'm bullying. Uchiha Madara's shock turned to fury. When did he, Uchiha Madara, be underestimated so much? Even the old Senju Hashirama wouldn't say that to him. Anger was burning in Uchiha Madara's heart, but he couldn't break out for a while. Because he knows that Naruto's strength is indeed much stronger than him. But that's if Uchiha Madara hasn't gotten six paths sage mode yet. The current him should be about the same strength as Naruto. How dare you look down on me? I will make you pay the price. Uchiha Madara said angrily, and then waved his hand, black sticks appeared out of thin air. These black sticks are the product of yin and yang escape, as long as they are inserted into the body, they will cause chakra disorder in the body, so that they cannot control their own chakra, and naturally they cannot use any ninjutsu. Once Naruto is recruited, he will be at the mercy of Uchiha Madara. The overwhelming black sticks shot over like arrows. But they were easily dodged by Naruto. If you can't dodge it, just grab the black stick passing by to block it. As long as it is not inserted into the body, the function of the chakra cable in other people's body will be greatly reduced. This is why Naruto dared to grab it with his bare hands. As long as it is blocked, this gangster is not much threat. In this way, facing the downpour of black sticks, Naruto waved the two black sticks in his hand very skillfully without haste. A lot of things like this can be seen at a glance. At this time, seeing Naruto's ability to do a job with ease, Uchiha Madara finally understood. It turns out that it was all Uchiha Madara's illusion just now. Naruto wasn't beaten defenseless at all. Getting rid of Uchiha Madara's attack was no coincidence either. It was the huge gap between the two that caused Uchiha Madara to miss fine. Hateful. Not only ninjutsu, but also body art is so powerful? How on earth did he do that? Uchiha Madara's eyes shone with anger and a hint of unspeakable envy. Others may not be able to achieve Grand Master one of the three items of ninja phantasm, if they spend their entire lives. Not to mention the almost omnipotent level of triathlon like Naruto. It's just unbelievable, it's incredible. Seeing that Naruto couldn't do anything about it, Uchiha Madara stopped this useless black stick attack. However, that doesn't mean Uchiha Madara stopped attacking. At the moment when the black stick disappeared, Uchiha Madara jumped suddenly and came behind Uchiha Madara in an instant. Holding a few black sticks in his hand, he inserted them silently into the unsuspecting figure. With a puff, the black rod was deeply inserted into Naruto's body. A wild smile appeared on Uchiha Madara's face. Ha ha ha. Let's see what you do now, 
You can't use ninjutsu anymore. I am the last winner of this battle. Uchiha Madara announced arrogantly, the black stick in his hand pointed heavily at the back of Naruto's head. This sudden change made the Shaokiang who watched the battle couldn't help but let out an exclamation. They never expected that things would take such a sudden turn for the worse. Naruto, who was still in control of the situation, was hit hard by a surprise attack by Uchiha Madara. It's unbelievable. Just when the black stick in Uchiha Madara's hand was about to penetrate the back of Naruto's head. Suddenly, Naruto's body suddenly changed and turned into wood. This. Uchiha Madara was taken aback for a moment, then his face changed drastically. He turned around abruptly, and what caught his eyes was a huge fist being released rapidly. With a bang, Uchiha Madara fell from the air to the ground at an extremely fast speed like a meteorite, smashing out a huge deep pit. Only then did the others realize that it turned out that the one who had just fought with Uchiha Madara was just a wood clone of Naruto. Naruto landed on the edge of the pit with a smile on his face, looking down at Uchiha Madara struggling to get up in the pit. How is it? How does it feel to fight my clone? Is my avatar powerful? Gritting her teeth, Uchiha Madara stood up from the deep pit, enduring the severe pain from all over her body. Don't be complacent, my attack is not over yet. I will never admit defeat. Naruto said with a smile. I didn't expect this battle to end like this. You have to play well. Hearing Naruto's speech, Uchiha Madara was furious. However, Uchiha Madara resisted the urge to rush forward and thought quickly. Wood style doesn't work for Naruto, neither does Taijutsu. But it can be seen that Naruto seems to be afraid of truth seeking ball. Obviously, the power of the truth seeking ball can't even be resisted by Naruto. Uchiha Madara's observation skills are not so obvious that he can't see such obvious things. But Uchiha Madara also has to wonder if this is false information released by Naruto to him. If he swears that the truth-seeking ball can kill Naruto, and then pays a huge price to blast the truth-seeking ball on Naruto. As a result, Naruto resisted the truth-seeking ball intact, and he was completely caught. Therefore, even if you want to attack, you must also ensure your own safety. But, what if he can keep himself safe from Naruto's attack? Uchiha Madara didn't know. So far, Uchiha Madara has been unable to see through Naruto's strength. It is true that Naruto has shown too many different abilities, and so many abilities come from Naruto, a boy who is only 7 or 8 years old. This is the most unacceptable thing for Uchiha Madara. For a genius, the most unacceptable thing is to see another person who is even more genius than himself, and he is also his opponent. Uchiha Madara is not a magnanimous person. It can even be said that the people of the Uchiha clan are narrow-minded. And because they value their own reputation, anyone who dares to underestimate or insult the Uchiha clan will be hostile to the non-Chia clan. At the beginning, Senju Tobarama took advantage of the mentality of the Uchiha clan and set up the trap of the guard team for Uchiha. It is to split the Uchiha clan in the village. Because, Senju Tobarama can't trust the Uchiha clan especially when seeing that the power of the Uchiha clan depends on sacrificing others. It is even more that the power of the Sharingan is considered an evil force. But, that's because Senju Tobarama didn't know Naruto's method of mass producing Sharingan with almost no side effects before. While waiting for Uchiha Madara to collect the tailed beast, Senju Tobarama was shocked when he learned about Naruto's method from Naruto. Just using the illusion that the Uchiha clan is best at to create a situation that looks like it is real, can open the eyes of the Uchiha clan without sacrificing anyone. If Senju Tobarama had thought of this method in the early years, perhaps he would not have thought of the trap of the guard. After all, in the case of Anbu, the responsibilities of the guard team are completely redundant. Although the people of the Uchiha clan feel that the guards are their pride and their due rights. We must find a way to contain Naruto, such as restricting a space. Uchiha Madara felt that if he wanted to hit Naruto, he had to confine Naruto to a small space as a minister. Depriving Naruto of the dodging position, there is a greater certainty that the attack will actually land on Naruto. Do whatever comes to mind. The four invisible avatars of Uchiha Madara spread out immediately, and were located in four directions. Afterwards, the four clones formed seals at the same time, and red rays of light emerged from the clones' bodies, and they joined together to form a square magic circle trapping Naruto and Uchiha Madara in it. In the formation, it seems to have become a battle cage. It's four red yang formation, Senju Hashirama yelled in surprise. But this requires four people to perform it. How did it appear out of thin air? 
Senju Tobarama stared intently at the four corners of the four red yang formation. It should be someone we can't see that is casting an enchantment. Shikamaru nodded suddenly. I just said it was a little strange. When Naruto dodged Uchiha Madara's attack earlier, he did a lot of unnecessary moves. It turned out to be to avoid these invisible enemies. Tooth said worriedly. The enemy you can't see, what should you do? Ino rolled his eyes. You idiot, Naruto already knew about it, otherwise it would not be possible to dodge the attacks of Uchiha Madara and these invisible people so easily before. Shino speculated. Maybe, Naruto's eyes can see, after all, his eyes are the same as Uchiha Madara's. Senju Tobarama said in a deep voice. Rinnegan, I didn't expect Rinnegan to have a unique ability just like Sharingan. Sasuke crossed his arms and looked at the battlefield coldly. But if you look closely, you can see a trace of envy flashing in his eyes. Ever since I knew that I could become a Rinnegan through the continuous evolution of writing rounds, I couldn't help being curious about how to do it. But his self-esteem does not allow him to ask Naruto, so he can only observe by himself. But this kind of thing, even if he has Mangekio Sharingan, he can't observe it. There are really too many prerequisites. However, Sasuke, like Naruto, has an advantage in preconditions, and Sasuke has an advantage over Naruto. After all Sasuke was born able to awaken the Sharingan. And if Naruto has the Sharingan without the rewards provided by any system, it is basically impossible to obtain the current Rinnegan. Certainly. There is also a more convenient way, which is to capture the eyes of other Uchiha clans. But Naruto doesn't want to use this method. He is still a bit of a clean freak in this regard, and he doesn't want to use other people's eyes. I'm curious, how did Uchiha Madara have the guts to challenge Naruto? Neji put his hands on his shoulders, not very optimistic about Uchiha Madara's choice. Before, he couldn't touch Naruto with those four invisible people, but now he and Naruto are bound in a space, what is he going to do? Hearing Neji's words, the others couldn't help thinking deeply. He raised his hand every day and said, is it Uchiha Madara's way of trading injuries? After all, Uchiha Madara's physical recovery speed is very strong, Naruto is not necessarily. Hearing Tien Tien's words, the others woke up suddenly. Just now Uchiha Madara used similar moves to deal with Naruto's 10,000 flying sword in one go. If Naruto lacked room to dodge in this restricted space, he might really be hit hard. And, what worries them most is that they have never seen Naruto injured. Naruto was not injured because the enemy never hit him. But now, facing a move that is sure to hit, can Naruto handle it like Uchiha Madara? Shao Kiang didn't know, but they couldn't help worrying. Only Sasuke snorted coldly and said, Since you don't want to fight hard, why don't you just destroy this enchantment? With his strength, it's not impossible to die. When everyone heard Sasuke's words, they immediately let go of what they had just mentioned. Really? If Naruto wanted to, he could use his strength to destroy the barrier and come out. Senju Hashirama said in a deep voice. Although Naruto's strength is very strong, and we have seen it with our own eyes, it is not so easy to break the four red yang formation. If Naruto can't do it, Senju Hashirama's words immediately raised the hearts of Zhang Xiaokiang again. Still, Shikamaru spread out his hands rather awkwardly and said. What's the use of us talking so much here? The battle between the two of them is no longer in our hands. At this point, since Naruto wants to fight Uchiha Madara in this form, we can only trust him. Little Sakura said with a forced smile. Naruto has never fought an unsure battle, so he must be sure this time. No one responded to her. Although everyone is just a teenager, they followed Naruto during this time and saw Naruto's posture when fighting various powerful enemies in their eyes. They are also watching Naruto's state when he is fighting Uchiha Madara now. Naruto seemed to be very afraid of the black sphere in the opponent's hand, which was transformed into a weapon. Since it can make Naruto jealous, it is enough to show that the weapon has the ability to hurt Naruto. But just this is enough to make them feel worried. In the past battles, Naruto always wins in a crushing manner, and the enemy has no possibility of injuring a single hair of Naruto. Even if Naruto stands there and lets others hit him, others may not be able to hurt Naruto. But now, Naruto is actively avoiding Uchiha Madara's attack. While everyone is worried, only Sasuke and Senju Tobarama don't have such emotions. Sasuke is out of instinct, believing that Naruto can deal with any enemy. And Sasuke didn't allow Naruto to be defeated by anyone other than him. In Sasuke's eyes, he is the only one who can defeat Naruto. And Senju Tobarama has witnessed another special ability of Naruto. 
Don't worry. Senju Tobarama's sudden sound attracted everyone's attention. He said calmly. You seem to have forgotten Naruto's Mangekio pupil technique. He used that teleportation-like ability before to escape from my self-destruct ninjutsu. Although he doesn't know if he can use the Mangekio pupil technique now, if he can, he can escape from that place at any time. Hearing Senju Tobarama's words, Yinjia finally felt relieved. Indeed, I've forgotten about it. Teeth shouted excitedly. Obviously we all saw it together, it really shouldn't be. Shino pushed the sunglasses, pretending to be calm and said. The main reason is that Naruto has not been used for too long, and Naruto knows too many things, so we forget about it. For ninjas, this is obviously unqualified behavior, and we still have a lot of landcraftsmen who need to be improved. Ino said nervously. I'll talk about the self-examination later. Look. Uchiha Madara looks like he's about to attack. Immediately, the eyes of other people were all attracted. Only in the red enchantment. Uchiha Madara looked up at Naruto standing in the air and said. Your strength is stronger than mine. Even I have to admit that. But one thing is different from previous fights. That's me now, with the power to threaten you. Naruto was noncommittal, silently watching Uchiha Madara chattering there. Seeing that Naruto did not refute, Uchiha Madara felt certain in her heart. And the only thing I am stronger than you is my body's ability to recover. You have Rinnegan, which means you also have Sage Body, which can recover from injuries quickly. But my constitution is now Sage of Six Paths, stronger than yours. Stronger than your body in every way. So, let me see how you will bear this move. As he said that, Uchiha Madara repeated the same trick, taking a truth seeking ball in each of his left and right hands, and then arbitrarily mixed the two truth seeking balls together. Under his strong interference, the two truth seeking balls suddenly burst into violent light. In an instant, it seemed that there was only this dazzling white light left between the sky and the earth. Everyone involuntarily closed their eyes. Xiao Qiang prayed in their hearts, hoping that Naruto could escape this fatal attack. The white light has existed for a long time, and the attack representing Uchiha Madara has also lasted for a long, long time. After the white light dissipated from the eyelids, they slowly opened their eyes. Seeing the four red yang formation intact. Etc. Why are there two layers of four red yang formation? Xiao Qiang were dumbfounded. They were taken aback by what they saw. I rubbed my eyes and found that they were not dazzled. There are indeed two four red yang formations in sight. This situation immediately puzzled them. Senju Tobarama's eyes lit up. It's Naruto. He even used Shadow Clone for support, and also released four red yang formation. It's just that Naruto's four red yang formation wraps Uchiha Madara inside, and naturally blocks Uchiha Madara's attack in the barrier. Tooth couldn't help shouting excitedly. So handsome. Naruto. Sasuke snorted coldly, but the corners of his mouth couldn't help but draw a line. This is the opponent I recognize, Shikamaru said with a smile. It seems that Naruto will never let us down, Senju Hashirama said while squeezing his chin. Judging from the scale of the explosion just now, the four red yang formation may not be able to stop Uchiha Madara's attack. But the four red yang formation released by Naruto is blocked, what does that mean? It shows that Naruto not only learned the four red yang formation in a short period of time, but also improved the efficiency of the four red yang formation in such a short period of time. It's just crazy, seems crazy to Senju Hashirama. But in the eyes of others, this is already Naruto's foundation. Any ability can only exert a lot of power in the hands of others. But when Naruto is here, the power that can be exerted will double immediately, and as time goes by, this value will continue to increase, and it seems that there is no upper limit. So Shikamaru and the others have long been familiar with it. Great. Naruto-kun is fine. Little Sakura and others shed tears of excitement. At that moment, they were really worried that Naruto would not be able to escape, and instead be hurt by Uchiha Madara. Fortunately, nothing happened. Uchiha Madara, who was wrapped in a double barrier, looked at all this with a dull face. His body is recovering rapidly, but everything that happened in front of him is challenging his ability to accept. Why? How can it be? It's not that Uchiha Madara didn't expect Naruto to be able to dodge this trick. But in Uchiha Madara's vision, this is not the case at all. Naruto blocked his attack with the four red yang formation he just cast. And that's not the thing that shocked Uchiha Madara the most. Instead, the four red yang formation used by Naruto is several times stronger than the four red yang formation he used. 
Otherwise, with the strength of the four red yang formation, it would be impossible to resist the explosive power of the two truth-seeking balls. In fact, Uchiha Madara has no doubts that Naruto will use the four east sun array. Although the four red yang formation needs four cage level powerhouses to maintain the enchantment. But just like Uchiha Madara cast four red yang formation with his invisible clone, Naruto can naturally do the same with shadow clone. After all, the chakra of both of them is far beyond the usual cage level. Therefore, Uchiha Madara doesn't think there is anything special about Naruto's four red yang formation. What surprised Uchiha Madara was Naruto's improvement of four red yang formation. The effect is really good. If Uchiha Madara came by himself, it would take years to do it, at least. However, considering the incredible ninjutsu released by Naruto before, as long as the research is done in advance, it is not impossible to achieve this point. I didn't expect that my move would be blocked by you in this way. It seems that you have premeditated it, Uchiha Madara said confidently. Naruto looked at Uchiha Madara in surprise. Premeditated? What are you talking about? Oh, you mean this four red yang formation? I just learned this from watching you use it. It also took me a while to do some research to solidify its strength. So far, it seems that the effect is not bad. Naruto nodded in satisfaction, completely ignoring Uchiha Madara's stunned look on the other side. Uchiha Madara stretched out her trembling palm and pointed at Naruto with trembling fingers, so shocked that she couldn't even speak. You 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 you. Dot you were just talking nonsense, what nonsense? Just learned. Impossible. How could you improve the four red yang formation to the point where it can block the truth seeking ball in such a short period of time? Do not make jokes. Uchiha Madara looked crazy, screaming crazily. Obviously unable to accept what he just heard. But the truth is, Naruto only just learned this jutsu by watching Uchiha Madara use it. After all, the system has not provided it, and Naruto has not deliberately learned ninjutsu of the ending category. This is the first enchantment ninjutsu mastered by Naruto. In the distance, other people are also looking at this side in a daze. Hey, hey, did you hear what that guy Naruto said? Tooth's mouth couldn't close. Shikamaru held his forehead helplessly. This Naruto guy, he's starting his ticket business again. Ino opened his mouth in shock, without the restraint of a girl at all. How long has it been? A minute. A minute. Shino pushed the sunglasses with trembling fingers. Even for Naruto, this result is too exaggerated. In just one minute, have you raised that level of ninjutsu to this level? Sasuke snorted coldly, crossing his arms with both hands. I've seen it so many times, why are you making such a fuss? However, in his heart, he kept scolding Naruto for sneaking away again. Senju Tobarama's brain has been shut down. I am afraid that Senju Tobarama, who created many forbidden techniques, fell into endless doubts when he saw the speed at which Naruto improved ninjutsu. Am I dreaming? How could someone improve this top-level enchantment ninjutsu so quickly, and increase the effect several times? This must be a dream. This can't be happening in reality. Senju Tobarama even slapped himself hard to make himself happy. Ah, it doesn't hurt at all, it really is a dream. Senju Tobarama gave a relaxed smile. Senju Hashirama on the side looked at his silly brother speechlessly. Tobarama, are you stupid? We are now the body of impure world reincarnation, without feeling. The smile on Senju Tobarama's face froze suddenly. Shikamaru sighed and patted Senju Hashirama on the shoulder. Shodai. Why would you wake up someone who doesn't want to? Sometimes, some things don't need to be forced to face. Because that doesn't make any sense. Senju Hashirama looked at Senju Tobarama who was gradually graying out, and nodded in a daze. Although I didn't quite understand it, I seemed to understand it. Uchiha Madara looked at Naruto in shock, he still couldn't accept this shocking fact. However, he soon found himself needing to accept another headache. How should he get out of Naruto's barrier? Even the power of two truth-seeking balls bursting out at the same time can't destroy this enchantment. How is he going to get out then? Uchiha Madara was suddenly lost in thought. Naruto said at this time, let's make a deal. Uchiha Madara suddenly looked up. What agreement? Naruto pointed to the four red yang formation that trapped him, and said. How about we agree with each other not to use this result? Uchiha Madara's eyes lit up immediately. You can't do without my enchantment? Naruto shook his head and said, of course. The light in Uchiha Madara's eyes dimmed suddenly. 
he thought that Naruto proposed this request because Naruto couldn't leave his enchantment. It turned out that he was just self-righteous. However, since Naruto can go out, why doesn't he go out? Since you can go out, why are you still here? Naruto smiled and said, I want to see if you can escape my enchantment. But it looks like you won't be able to escape in a short time. I don't want to just wait, it's a complete waste of time. Since this is the case, let's make an agreement that neither party will use the four red yang formation, so that you can come out without thinking about how to crack my four red yang formation. Uchiha Madara frowned, thinking for a while but didn't realize that this situation would be of any benefit to Naruto. Yes, it's just a situation that is beneficial to him. This puzzled Uchiha Madara even more. What is your plan? Are you willing to give up a situation that is beneficial to you? Naruto said with a confident smile. Because even without the four red yang formation, my advantage is still the same, isn't it? A simple sentence immediately made Uchiha Madara's teeth itch with hatred. Doesn't this mean that Uchiha Madara is not Naruto's opponent? Although Uchiha Madara also has to admit that the strength displayed by Naruto is indeed terrifying. However, Uchiha Madara is confident that as he becomes the second sage of six paths, he can definitely beat Naruto. Although he is very confident that he can defeat Naruto. However, under the current situation, Uchiha Madara really has nothing to do with the strengthened four red yang formation in front of him. Therefore, he can only make an agreement with Naruto. The two dropped four red yang formation at the same time. Uchiha Madara's invisible clone returned to his side, and Naruto's four clones also disappeared into white smoke. Next, what method will you use? The power of the six paths mode, shouldn't it be the case? Naruto looked at Uchiha Madara expectantly, showing no signs of making the first move. Naruto's unhurried look made Uchiha Madara's eyelids twitch. Don't be complacent. I will let you understand now, what is real power. But before again, I need a boost, as Uchiha Madara said, his eyes suddenly turned. Then, his body suddenly disappeared in place. When it reappeared, it was already in front of Senju Hashirama. What? Senju Hashirama's face changed, and he clapped his hands and planned to use ninjutsu. But Uchiha Madara was even faster, reaching out and grabbing Senju Hashirama's neck directly, preventing his ninjutsu from being activated and Senju Hashirama's chakra is being quickly absorbed by Uchiha Madara. What are you doing? Senju Tobarama drank coldly, and then quickly formed seals with both hands, and then directly used the strongest attack method in the state of impure world reincarnation. Tandem paper bombs. Even Naruto had to take shelter from the sharp explosion. But he is the impure world reincarnation body, no need to worry about the body being destroyed. In the same way, Senju Hashirama, who is also the body of impure world reincarnation, need not worry. Senju Tobarama was worried about why Uchiha Madara would come to them all of a sudden. Also, Naruto doesn't look like he intends to stop it. But no matter what, Senju Tobarama will definitely not let Uchiha Madara treat his brother like this. What should we do? Tooth said in a daze. Shikamaru pulled him back two steps and said. It's out of our control, just leave it to Naruto. Shino looked up at Naruto who was standing motionless in the distance and said. But Naruto doesn't look like he intends to make a move. When Shikamaru heard it, he didn't care even more. Since Naruto doesn't plan to take care of it, then we don't have to take care of it. If what Uchiha Madara does threatens us, Naruto will certainly not let it go. When others heard it, they found that this was indeed the case. Naruto certainly wouldn't sit by and let them be in danger. That being the case, they just stood there in their spare time planning to see what Uchiha Madara was going to do. Uchiha Madara is absorbing the chakra in Senju Hashirama's body, and of course Senju Hashirama's Senju chakra. What made Uchiha Madara helpless and speechless was that the eyes of the little ghosts around him seemed to be watching the excitement, which really made him unhappy. But, he has no other way. Seeing that Senju Tobarama was about to rush over and explode himself, Uchiha Madara could only let go of his hand and retreat immediately. Anyway, he got what he wanted. Bang amidst the explosion, Sasuke and other small powerhouses retreated one after another to distance themselves. So as not to be affected by Senju Tobarama's attack. Uchiha Madara flew into the air first, feeling the chakra inhaled into her body. Is this the fairy art chakra? The power is just like this, and I feel that I can use it proficiently soon. After closing his eyes and feeling the magic chakra for a while, Uchiha Madara returned to Naruto. Sorry for the waiting. Uchiha Madara knew that Naruto deliberately didn't make a shot, 
just to let him get the force area of Shi and Ju Chakra. Although Uchiha Madara didn't know why Naruto knew what he was thinking, it didn't matter anymore. As long as Naruto can be defeated, everything makes sense. However, Naruto's calm attitude is too arrogant in Uchiha Madara's eyes. As if no matter what he did, it was just a futile struggle. Meaningless. Anger was burning in Uchiha Madara's heart. But he could only endure it. Because as far as the current situation is concerned, Naruto does have an advantage. But, it's just now. After you see my true strength, you won't be so calm. Uchiha Madara whispered to himself, and then the chakra in his body flowed with his thoughts. Sage Art Lan escaped light teeth. An extremely thin thread spit out from Uchiha Madara's mouth. It looks like a silk thread, but it has unparalleled cutting power. Naruto frowned when he saw it. In order to test the cutting ability, Naruto summoned a part of Suzano to resist. But without the slightest ability to resist, the part that was summoned was cut in half. Seeing this scene, Naruto was slightly surprised. Even Naruto was a little surprised, let alone other people watching the battle. Naruto's Suzano was cut? Teeth screamed in shock. Shikamaru also widened his eyes in surprise. It's such a strong cutting ability, I'm afraid it can easily make a deep hole in the ground. Sasuke folded his hands on his chest and said with a cold snort. What is this level? Naruto didn't even use the full body of Suzano. Only when Suzano is complete can his offensive and defensive capabilities reach the top level. You guys are too fussy. Xiao Li scratched his head in embarrassment. I really didn't expect Naruto's Suzano to be cut open. It was so surprising that I couldn't hold back for a while. Ino also nodded in fear. When I saw it just now, my heart almost stopped beating. But from what you've said, it doesn't seem to be that powerful. Sasuke said with a gloomy face, of course it's great. If it's my full body, Suzano, I'm afraid I can't stop this move. Uchiha Madara, I didn't expect to be so powerful. The others were very surprised when they heard this. Among them, Sasuke's strength is undoubtedly the highest, and the one closest to Naruto. But now he heard that even Suzano, the strongest in Sasuke, couldn't stop Uchiha Madara's move, and he was shocked. Fortunately, Naruto escaped without any risk, so they were relieved. Is it integrated with the power of fairy art? Indeed, the power has been improved by several levels. Naruto said lightly, but it's not enough. Uchiha Madara snorted coldly and continued to release ninjutsu. Sage art ice escaped purgatory. Countless ice crystals appeared out of nowhere, and then suddenly gathered together, surrounding Naruto. The ice crystals didn't touch Naruto directly but trapped Naruto in it, releasing a terrible low temperature. If it is an ordinary person, I am afraid that it will freeze into an ice sculpture in an instant. However, Naruto is naturally not an ordinary person. Fire style free fire. Seeing that Naruto was trapped, little Sakura Ino and others exclaimed and looked at Naruto worriedly. Although Shikamaru and the others did not speak, it could be seen from their clenched fists that they were not as calm as before. After Uchiha Madara took something from Senju Hashirama, Uchiha Madara's attack was very strong. This made them a little unexpected. At this time, Senju Hashirama and Senju Tobarama are still recovering a little bit, and they don't know the progress of the current situation. Looking at the trapped Naruto, everyone's heart was sweating. I'm afraid that at this time Uchiha Madara will have another truth-seeking ball to explode each other. If Naruto can't dodge in time, maybe it will be really dangerous. Just when they were worried, Naruto's body suddenly burst into violent flames. The temperature of the flame is extremely high, instantly melting the ice crystals that surrounded him, and more than that. This group of violent flames actually changed into various forms. For a while it was a tiger, and for a while it was a dragon. Finally, it turned into a long dragon and headed towards Uchiha Madara. Uchiha Madara does not dodge or evade, sage art water style canopy. After taking a deep breath, Uchiha Madara exhaled forcefully forward. Like the cataract technique, a large amount of water is sprayed out. But different from the waterfall technique, the sprayed water formed a barrier like a curtain in front of him. Block the Naruto flame dragon, and the two sides cancel each other out. Eventually, a violent explosion was formed. A large amount of black smoke and steam obscured everyone's sight. Uchiha Madara's offensive also paused briefly. On the ground, Shikamaru couldn't help swallowing, and said. How do I feel? Uchiha Madara seems to be on par with Naruto now. Is it my illusion? Hayuga said with an ugly face. No, you read that right, the two of them did fight back and forth. 
it's the first time I've seen someone who wasn't directly suppressed by Naruto. Teeth opened his mouth wide, speechless in shock. Sasuke clenched his hands tightly, his jaw was tight, as if he wanted to crush all the teeth in his mouth. The gap between Naruto and him is getting bigger and bigger. On the contrary, some people are constantly pulling closer to Naruto. This is the most unacceptable thing for Sasuke. Because he regards himself as Naruto's opponent, he does not allow anyone to threaten Naruto before him. The smoke cleared. Uchiha Madara looked at Naruto with a smug smile on his face. How? I can actually threaten your existence now. Can you still go on calmly like just now? Naruto looked at Uchiha Madara calmly and said. The power of fairy art is not bad. It can greatly increase the power of ordinary ninjutsu. Uchiha Madara frowned, feeling something was wrong. You bastard, don't you? Naruto said lightly. I already know about fairy art, so I naturally did some research on it. In the final analysis, natural energy is the power that this world should have, but natural energy cannot be easily mastered, and it needs to follow its unique laws. I tried for a long time before I found a path that belongs to human beings. Uchiha Madara was a little confused, not knowing what Naruto was talking about. Where does the power of Shanshu come from? Uchiha Madara knows very well that it comes from the three holy places. There is a price to pay for learning fairy arts, and I don't know how many people lost their lives in the pursuit of fairy arts. Uchiha Madara is well aware of this, but now Uchiha Madara easily mastered Senju by absorbing Senju Hashirama's Senju Chakra. Obviously, for the strong, the difficulty of learning fairy art will be greatly reduced. But Naruto's words made Uchiha Madara a little confused. From what Naruto said, it seems that he himself created a method of cultivating immortality that belongs to human beings alone. Instead of relying on the power of the three holy lands. If this is true, once this method is popularized, the average strength of ninjas will definitely be greatly improved. But, this has nothing to do with Uchiha Madara. All he wants now is to beat Naruto. When you say this, do you mean that you can also use fairy arts? Naruto said with a smile. Of course, and I've already used it. Uchiha Madara's expression froze. What? Then why didn't he feel it? He had fought Senju Hashirama before, so he knew exactly what Senju felt like. But now, Naruto even said that she has already used Shienshui. This leaves Uchiha Madara beyond comprehension. Naruto looked at Uchiha Madara's puzzled look, and suddenly smiled. You don't seem to know what's special about your body, do you? Uchiha Madara froze for a moment, looking down at his own body. Is there anything else in the body of the Sage of Six Paths that he doesn't understand? How can it be? I have fully mastered the Six Paths mode, how could there be something I don't know? Uchiha Madara shook his head to refute, but there was a trace of panic in his heart. Is there really something he doesn't know? What exactly is it? Not just Uchiha Madara. The people watching the battle on the ground were also very curious. What do you mean by Naruto's words? Why didn't I understand something? Teeth scratched his head, feeling a strange feeling. My head is itchy, as if I am going to grow a brain. Shikamaru shrugged and said, I don't know, but I'll know soon. Naruto will tell us. When the others heard this, they immediately looked up at Naruto. Waiting for Naruto's answer. Naruto didn't make them wait too long, but said slowly. The body of Sage of Six Paths is very special. As the person who once created Ninja, he has an extremely powerful ability. That is the absolute defense against ordinary ninjutsu. Ordinary escape techniques can't hurt your body. Uchiha Madara was shocked. So you were able to hurt me before because you used fairy art? Only immortality can hurt me? Naruto shook his head and said. Ninjutsu that contains the power of six paths, as well as taijutsu. But if the body technique cannot launch a fatal attack on you, it will have no effect. Because your body will always recover as quickly as possible. Uchiha Madara looked at his body, although he knew a lot of things when he got this body. But he never expected that in order to hurt him, he would need to rely on the immortal Li Huang. It has to be said that it is worthy of the body of Sage of Six Paths. It's so powerful, it's just too rambunctious. Teeth yelled dissatisfied. Doesn't this mean that we can't break the defense at all? Shikamaru shook his head helplessly and said. I don't want to agree, but you're right. We really can't do anything to Uchiha Madara, not at all. But we can't do anything about it, it doesn't mean Naruto can't do it. Shikamaru continued. Perhaps it is because Uchiha Madara will gain such brutal and unreasonable power that he will let Uchiha Madara become what he is now. 
Fang nodded blankly, but he still didn't understand. But smart people, such as Shino, Neji and others have already understood what Shikamaru means. Naruto, has reached the realm of invincibility. In the past, Naruto worked hard to practice in order to make himself live a strong power zone. But now Naruto's power has exceeded the imagination of ordinary people. As a result, no one in the entire ninja world will be Naruto's opponent. When Naruto easily suppressed the other four countries of the five major countries, Nai had already seen this situation. Although he is still young, the super high IQ of the Shikamaru family makes him look at things differently from others. He was the first to discover Naruto's mentality of wanting an opponent. When starting the plan to unify the ninja world, every time Naruto fights with a powerful opponent, he will allow the opponent to take the lead in order to judge the strength of the opponent. However, after a brief judgment, Naruto came to the fact that these so-called shadows were not his opponents at all. Therefore, when he knew that Uchiha Madara could gain further power, even if he would take some unknown risks, Naruto did something that was completely inconsistent with his stable personality in the past. On the one hand, it is because of Naruto's confidence in himself. On the other hand, it is also because Naruto really needs a strong enough opponent. At first, Shikamaru would have thought the opponent would be Sasuke. Because the potential shown by Sasuke is also very strong, and even the current Sasuke is stronger than all the current cage level powerhouses. But compared with Naruto, there is still a desperate gap. This also led to Uchiha Madara being able to successfully gather the power of the Nine Tailed Beasts, and then resurrect Ten Tails to become Jinchuriki of Ten Tails. No matter what, it's right to trust Naruto. Shikamaru looked up, at this time the two people in the sky made another move. Uchiha Madara looked at Naruto's indifferent look, no matter how he looked at it, he was not happy. HMPH. You said that you have mastered the power of fairy art. Indeed, my body was injured by your ninjutsu attack, but it still recovered quickly. It seems that even you can't fully grasp the power of fairy arts. And I'm different, I have completely mastered the power of fairy arts. The few jutsu you just saw are the ninjutsu I mastered just now when I merged with Shanshu. Next, you will see more fairy arts in my hands. Uchiha Madara is obviously extremely confident. Even if Senju Tobarama, a ninjutsu creation master, stands here, it is impossible to create ninjutsu faster than him. Just because the energy of fairy art is too convenient. After a little fusion with chakra, he can form a powerful fairy art according to his wishes. Naruto still didn't have much reaction to this, but showed a slight smile instead. Really? That's really exciting. If you can't show stronger strength, I will really be disappointed. You should know that I deliberately didn't stop you from collecting tailed beasts. Uchiha Madara's expression froze. Indeed, judging from Naruto's current strength and the information Orochimaru brought him. Naruto really didn't have the slightest shot when he collected the tailed beast. The only time he appeared was because he wanted to attack Konoha's ninja to drive himself away. At that time, he thought that the Naruto that appeared was the main body, but after listening to Orochimaru's information, he realized that it was only a shadow clone of Naruto that drove him away. This also made Uchiha Madara understand how terrifying Naruto's strength is. It's just a shadow clone, and it can make the self in his heyday escape. If it wasn't for the power gained in the six paths mode that gave him confidence again, I'm afraid he wouldn't even have the thought of facing Naruto now. Just because of the strength displayed by Naruto, it makes people despair. Desperately powerful. Stop talking nonsense. Naruto stretched out his hand and ticked Uchiha Madara. If you have any means, just use it, let me enjoy a hearty battle. Uchiha Madara snorted coldly and said with a gloomy expression. Then as you wish. Just regret your pride and arrogance. You allowed me to acquire such a powerful force. As he spoke, Uchiha Madara took a deep breath suddenly, and his entire chest swelled up. Sage Art Inferno Style Leong. An endless sea of flames spewed out from Uchiha Madara's mouth exuding scorching heat. And these flames quickly gathered in one place, emitting a dazzling light. It was as if a huge sun appeared on the flat ground. Uchiha Madara looked at Naruto proudly but his face froze suddenly. Because he saw that Naruto actually made the same movement as him. After taking a deep breath, he spit out a large amount of white flames. The temperature of the flame was even stronger than his, and the light was even more dazzling. Uchiha Madara had to close her eyes, on the ground, two extremely dazzling suns appeared. Everyone had to close their eyes, and even closing them didn't help. 
The strong light directly penetrated the eyelids, if it continues, everyone present will lose their light. Shikamaru and the others had to turn their backs and run away from here as quickly as possible. Because not only is the light unbearable, but the scorching heat that seems to evaporate everything is also unacceptable to ordinary people like them. Only the Senju brothers, who are the body of impure world reincarnation, can calmly watch the two suns gradually approach and then collide. Although on the way, they also lost the light. But still at the last moment, I saw the spectacular scenery produced when the two suns collided. At the moment when the two fierce suns collided, there is only a paleness left between the sky and the earth. All the colors are washed away by this paleness, because the original colors are lost. Afterwards, they also lost their form, melted by the scorching high temperature, and evaporated. Even the sound seemed to disappear without a trace. In fact, the sound did not spread out because this area has been baked into a vacuum by the temperature beyond imagination. The sound loses the medium of transmission, and naturally the sound cannot be transmitted. With their backs to Shikamaru who turned and ran, they could only feel that the sky and the earth had turned into a touch of white. In order not to be affected and lose their lives, they can only try their best to escape here. And Senju Hashirama and Senju Tobarama, under the violent impact, have been reduced to fly ash. Although it turned into fly ash, no one worried about the two of them. They are, after all, undead impure world reincarnation bodies themselves. Even if they really died, they just went back to the place where they should go. At best, these two will regret not being able to see a match between Naruto and Uchiha Madara. Although from the perspective of the situation, Naruto has a big enough advantage. The scorching high temperature carried a dazzling light blooming on the earth. Like the flower of the sun Shikamaru and the others fled as quickly as possible to avoid being affected by the aftermath of the two's attacks. This is no joke. If they are not careful, they can be turned into fly ash. At that time, even if Naruto's medical ninjutsu is superb, it is impossible to resurrect a person who has been turned into ashes. The light is still expanding, and this blazing white flower blooming on the earth is still blooming enthusiastically, as if there is no end. But it's just as if. After all, the power to maintain them is limited, not infinite. When the limit is reached, the expansion stops. Finally stopped. Shikamaru felt the burning sensation behind him subside, so he guessed what was going on behind him. But even so, he didn't dare to turn around casually. Because the light that can easily penetrate the eyelids will easily blind his eyes. A full minute passed. The light gradually dissipated. They turned their heads one after another, only to see themselves and others standing on the edge of a cliff. The ground where they ran over has all disappeared. There is only a huge pit like a bottomless abyss, thousands of meters deep. With the naked eye, only darkness can be seen. This, what is this? This is too exaggerated. Even the terrain has been changed by them. Teeth held his head and shouted in disbelief. Can this level of power be considered ninjutsu? He felt that it was impossible for him to come into contact with this level of power zone in his life. Absolutely impossible. Phew. Uchiha Madara really came prepared. It's actually able to use such a terrifying power. Neji let out a long breath, his face a bit ugly. He kept his eyes tightly closed the whole time just now, for fear of accidentally seeing the situation behind him with his white eyes. In that case, even if his white eyes had some resistance, he would probably become blind in an instant. No, it should be said that I know Naruto very well. There was a hint of a smile on Shikamaru's mouth, but his forehead was covered with sweat. Didn't you see? Just now Naruto used an attack exactly like Uchiha Madara in an instant. When the others heard it, they quickly searched for the memory just now in their minds. After all, it happened just now. Although most of the attention was on this incredible power, they also noticed the situation around Uchiha Madara and Naruto. Soon, they found out that it was just as Shikamaru said. Naruto came later and did the same move as Uchiha Madara. The two sons collided to erupt such a powerful attack. As expected of Naruto, there are always unexpected surprises. Shino pushed his glasses, looking very calm. But from the trembling of his other hand, he knew that his heart was definitely not so peaceful. HMPH. The outcome is still unclear but we couldn't even get close. Sasuke snorted coldly, but the words he said were so unwilling. He was very dissatisfied with the widening gap between himself and Naruto. How could Sasuke, who considers himself Naruto's biggest opponent, watch Naruto fight so heartily with other people? Sasuke felt as if something important to him had been taken away, extremely uncomfortable. Is Naruto-kun all right? 
Hanada looked into the distance worriedly, because she was afraid of doing the previous move again, Hanada didn't even dare to roll her eyes to look at it. Looking at the distance thousands of meters away, Uchiha Madara and Naruto in the sky are as small as a grain of rice, and it is impossible to see them clearly. Whether people can see it or not is two different things. At this moment, between Uchiha Madara and Naruto in the distance, there is also a person with a head full of doubts. How can it be? How did you do it? Uchiha Madara looked at Naruto in disbelief. Just when he launched the attack, he saw Naruto release the same attack as him at a glance. At this time, Uchiha Madara's body was sizzling back to its original form. The whole body seemed to be scorched, but Uchiha Madara didn't even look at it. Just because Naruto's behavior just now was beyond Uchiha Madara's expectation. This is completely beyond Uchiha Madara's comprehension. Even Uchiha Madara has an illusion. The power released by Naruto is even stronger than what he released. However, looking at the huge pit like an abyss below, he found that it didn't seem to be his illusion. Naruto really showed the magic that is stronger than him. And it's the same move as he just thought of. This is the ninjutsu I created just now, how could you do it? Naruto said with a faint smile. I just said that I have already mastered the fairy art. Since I have mastered the fairy art, how can I not study hard? Uchiha Madara's face tightened. I don't believe it. I don't believe it's true. Sage art lava style melt bomb. The giant crater trembled suddenly, and then a bright red color appeared. Then, like a volcanic eruption, a pillar of fire erupted suddenly. Above the pillar of fire is a ball of lava with a diameter of 2 kilometers. Appeared in front of Naruto in an instant. Naruto felt the scorching heat for the first time. But he just smiled. Not even a word was said. Another pillar of fire erupted behind Naruto. This pillar of fire is slanted. The target was directed at Uchiha Madara. Above the pillar of fire is a lava ball with a diameter of several kilometers. Uchiha Madara's eyes widened instantly. Watching Naruto's lava ball easily crush the lava ball he released. This is impossible. Shocked to the extreme, Uchiha Madara forgot to dodge. His whole body was hit by the ball of lava, the scorching high temperature continuously burned his skin, but he began to recover under the extremely powerful recovery ability. This process must be extremely painful, but Uchiha Madara didn't make a sound, and the whole person was pushed into the sky continuously. The lava ball is like a satellite launched from the ground, as if to bring Uchiha Madara into the universe. But after reaching an altitude of several thousand meters, the ball of lava burst suddenly, and the clouds in the sky were swept away. The fragments of the ball of lava turned into countless meteorites and quickly fell to the ground. 